Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Procrastinators Podcast. It's me, Hippocrit, the guy, and uh, um, we've got uh, with us a big, a packed car. We're on a summer vacation. It's all hot and sweaty in the car. We're all clown like, car. We're all, we're all, yeah. There's too many people in here. We're sticking to each <laughs> other. It's gross. Uh, we got Munchie here. I'm a sequel to 9/11, like a soft reboot. You know how like Godzilla slowly went from being an antagonist to a protagonist? That's like 9/11 in me. <laughs> uh, we got Nate. I uh, am the best jihadist ever. That's yeah, it. Great. This is the terrorism episode. <laughs> <laughs> we got Davu. Munchie, on your comment about how Godzilla went from bad guy to good guy, Rambo's similar. He starts off as just like a violent maniac anti-hero mm, in the first mm. movie. Then he becomes a hero. Then he becomes sort of a mixture in the fourth movie. Godzilla and Rambo should actually do a crossover. They have so much in common. They're both accidental byproducts of war. So what you're saying is you're a soft reboot of the Holocaust, Davu? <laughs> Sometimes. Uh, we have a mage. You're all weenies? <laughs> oh, That's a word. I coming, don't out, coming, out swing. Swing. coming out swinging. Uh, we I have a tom. Uh, everyone has been saying a lot of words in these intros, and I find them to be overly verbose. Yeah. And, and, oh, and, and yeah. Bloated. Your spirit is lacking. Mm. Bad show. And and the man <laughs> of the fewest words, Ben Saint. A man of no words, preferably. No, yeah, Nate, there he goes. It was there he goes. You, you, you Look, I'm joke. doing it. What? He's doing, he's doing it. it. Oh. He was doing the oh. joke, and you interrupted his silence. Well, it was the I funniest thing of all time. It, uh, I was da, proved da, da, the fool. Da, 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 da. All right. <laughs> Everybody, today's episode is confusing because some people think it's called words, but it's actually language. Language, language yeah. in general. Yeah. Um, I, I, I mean, I can go on for ages. I have notes written in language, in words... <laughs> about uh, about language and words that I will get to maybe there's so many people here I'm I'm doubtful that I'll you actually have the get mic to right have now. Spiel. Go just go just start. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. All right. Oh wait, the, Urban Dictionary oh, though. Geez. No, Computer no, not Urban Dictionary. language. Wait, got, am I right, gamers? Break the Hold structure. Up. Break the structure. No, language. Urban Dictionary. A way of communication. Uh, Gib is the leader of this episode. You can't just Holy take over. But he didn't want to read it, so I'm just doing it anyway. Oh my god. Urban Dictionary is a dictionary, therefore language. Is Urban Dictionary. Wait, listen to this one. Listen to this one. This is a meme, though. Okay, language. <laughs> Wait, it's what? a meme, everyone. Oh. It's fucking listen. horses. L oh, language. What your mother claims movies she doesn't want you to see has too much of. Yeah. See. Uh, swear yeah, and you know what? Face. You know what? That leads Great. perfectly into my point. Language sucks, and it's bad, yeah. and it doesn't here, do the job here. it's supposed to do. Wait, can we can we quickly segregate ourselves to pro and anti language? Can pro, we vote we real quick. Pro, I'm pro. pro. I, yeah, I, I'm pro. Pro. pro I, I am pro. Uh, Munchie, uh, the God King, is pro language. This is the yes. pro languinators podcast. That's Wait, okay, just if you're name, anti language, say I. 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 Wait, if wait, wait, you're what I? language? If you're anti language, oh, if you oh, hate sorry. it with a burning passion, if you want it dead. I. I, me, me. So, just, so, just so those of, of you keeping score at home, that is Davu, Nate, and Hippo on the Axis powers, and everyone. No, else it's not Davu. Davu, yeah, Davu wasn't actually. Uh, so is it he, just he Hippo and Nate? I think so. Cowards. Okay, everyone else well, cool. is cowardly green boys. It, the, the, the the cowards fighting the, on the losing side. Cowardly, but we, we, cowardly weapons. green juveniles. We will win. Our, 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 you are the Dark Souls boss to our rolling and, and stabbing. Oh, that, 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 that's <laughs> so unique. I, ne yeah. I never would have guessed that the minority opinion would be that <laughs> language isn't good. I would have never suspected and that. And there's nothing wor There's nothing weaker and more pitiful than a Dark Souls boss. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I, I, I use a lot of language, and I, I feel like this i feel like this it's like like you got guys Nate, who are like on the extreme left your ideas example, without using language it's impossible no, but i'll tell you why you can't I'm, do well, it here, you've lost to say. it's as like as soon people, as you explain anything the... you've lost the argument you're using the tool That's, that you hate uh, incorrect incorrect we can we see i, I have a solution we forced yeah. this yeah. on him everybody shut the hell up let me make my goddamn point everything about everything about everything happening here is entirely in my favor and probably yeah he's right he's right language is a terrible language because it is a translator it translates thoughts feelings and ideas into a package that has to be untranslated by the recipient and uh the recipient can like misinterpret things 
anything Here's written exactly. down, you can't like <coughs> like, re- like speech is better than stuff written down. But speech is still not as good as just actually experiencing real things. Yeah, well, hippo, you know what else? Google and Apple can't release a patch and change the word rifle to water gun. Well, they could, but they haven't yet. So there you go. I don't well, know but, what but, that but is implying is your it. argument. Okay, I don't wait, know what your argument why is. Why words are better than emoji? Okay, but listen, well, sure, but listen to this, though. It's like people on the far left, for example, like, hate... <laughs> wait, wait! No, no, no li- I make, it's just an analogy. Oh, it's like God. people on the far left, for example, hate the Democratic Party because they're not left enough. Uh, uh, and, like, that uh, makes them mad at that. Because, like, they're not... They're, they're the ones who, quote-unquote, like, represent their ideas, but they don't do it, like, well enough for their taste. In that same vein, I am mad at language for not... Like, I use it a lot. It's, it is a tool I use, but it's not good enough at doing what I want to do. And that's why, Munchie, you should be on board for this, as should you, Tom. Because what I want is whenever I meet someone, I don't want to use this bullshit language, shitty analog system we've got right now. I want to literally pull out my fucking cord, like in Ghost of the Shell, <laughs> jack it into your fucking neck, and have the raw, unfiltered data stream you, of my real life shit you go fucking, into your body. You fucking coward! What? Don't what? you want to, like, no. like what? That's language too. That's a digital language. Yeah, you're converting it say, into a computer a language. Retard. All, all that that is not, all right. No, yes, you're you defining like everything language. in reality Dude, as a language. I'm defining you, you, you as a language. You're saying fuck language is a form of communication and doesn't have to be verbal. It can also be bodily language. The, and language. Exactly. Is every is every communication language? Is my question. Yes. 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 Fuck language. It's just like a hyperbole clickbait and what you really want is just more wrong. words. So no, 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 no. You, you guys are dead wrong. You're misrepresenting your own yourself. points. Okay, okay, you know what? You know what? We, we should 100% have charity here. 100% of all calamities I, of, listen, of, between hey, every, humans, everyone. fighting I, 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 wars as I always make, I want to make, I wanna make a prediction. W- words I want to make a prediction. Speaking I want to predict something right now. I see, okay, I am the greatest mind of our generation. I, my mind is mm. so vast that it contains all of your own minds within it. I know exactly <laughs> where this conversation is going and I already have the groundbreaking point that will smash everything that is about to be said entirely asunder but I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait okay. on it until no, later. I just want to point out please that please Munchie save, wait, 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 our mental retardation. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay, Devo, Devo, what you've were you call, saying? You've called me out on that multiple times, Devo, and I've done it explicitly to, uh, like, make you upset. Except that's not actually true. I say it because I'm just retarded. But I want to hide behind, <laughs> like, like a veil of, of me doing it intentionally so people will think that I'm cool. But God, I actually look just at say these terrible people. words you're using. I just don't even care about right. any of them. They're all the, bad. The misrepresentation <laughs> of, of points is the reason yes. I don't like what I call language. See, this is the whole point. Language, yeah, as this. I think of it, is like like text and speech and stuff, not communication on the whole. Like communication, right. obviously, is a good thing. What's, what I'm arguing against what, is is like speak speaking and 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 like the written word, as like more specific forms of communication. Here's the thing, language. Uh, well, I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna continue calling it language because calling it words and speech is kind of yeah. If we want words to mean nothing, language. we might as well, right? That just helps your the, point. The, the the fact that you guys defined all communication as language... Nate, like, it's literally called body language. Exactly. There is an adjective attached to that to differentiate no, the two the, from just the yeah, broader it's, it's point. It's not even that we are correct and you are all wrong. Yeah, you we, gotta, all we gotta right, be on the, the same page is, here. It's, it's, all a, like, it's all like a fucking... It's a mess. I'm, uh, this, I've got so many different specific no, points no, okay. to go into. Mm-hmm. It's but all my, about. I'm, 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 mm-hmm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna start with yeah, one. Okay. I'm gonna start with one of my points. <laughs> uh, the specificity of language is a boon. It helps us to do a lot of things, but it is a curse when all of humanity is linked together. It's. It's. It's sort of. It's weird how. It it sucks is what I'm saying. It sucks well, like, because just use... uh, yeah, because okay. uh, I right. First of all, I'm not well, very look, good. Look at, at Twitter, dude. Notes. That, here's I, an example, though. I do it's have like... notes. I just didn't write them in a way that I could read them. Oh, oh no. <laughs> okay. I feel like you're confirmation. Like I didn't write a speech. Or... I wrote like here's a point that I can expand on. Um, okay. Like he, the specificity of like language is like you you have like words meaning specific things, but it only works in like small communities like tribes. Where yeah. everybody can yeah. decide on a word, and if a word's meaning is changed, everybody in the tribe can be like, "Oh, okay, that's that's different. Hey, Let's all boys. deliberate on that." Can, can I give an example? Can I give an example? And, that and, did, and, that's and, brilliant. And the more like the, the the bigger the tribe gets, the more people that are supposed to uh, and expected to use a word, they have to look yep. to a, a to an authority. But there is no authority because the dictionary is reactionary to the way people use language, and that just 
results in divides when people can't decide on the new or the old definition of a word, such as, you know, uh, literally being uh, used in like a figurative yeah. sense. As here's a word written in the dictionary now, because that's how people have been using it or misusing it. It's just it language creates barriers between people because we're such a huge conglomeration of human beings, and it should be for a small small sections and small communities having their own language. First world problems, bro. Well, maybe so, but listen to this. Here, here's the exact, this is a word that the poor definition of it is indicative of the problem with language at large. And I, 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 like, I think what you guys, what your side and our side will commonly clash over this entire podcast is like, but isn't it better than nothing? And the answer is yes. The answer is absolutely yes, but there are still problems and I think that's what we're gonna be talking about. Okay, here's the word. The word is racism. The word is racism, and the problem is that different huge groups, for example, in America, use that word in completely different ways, but because there are multiple definitions for that word, it no. causes huge no. misunderstandings. No. See Sky there Williams' video on the subject. There isn't multiple definitions of the word. There's yeah, one look definition in the dictionary. Of, no, no, no. There's one definition of okay, the word, okay. and then there's a whole political subset that has taken that word well, and changed it to mean that, something else. To Tom, I'm, I'm actually, is that a difference? Is that in way any way ch- different from having multiple definitions of a word? It's, yeah, that's like, a problem. I, that's a problem with people and ideology, not with that's language. A pro- yeah, no, well, no, that's no, I don't. My, point. I mean, my problem is there's too many people using the same language. Where we should be not not that we should the, be, but like I the way even... the language was like invented. Okay, okay. Was, a, yeah, word, was, a, word means, a word only means a word only means what people think it means, and if there's no right, consensus right. on what it means. Then it's not useful then it to just, use yeah, because it causes arguments as well. Okay. The problem I, right I now is that this is a big problem because the internet has like I don't have yeah. a I, this pro- I, made this problem way bigger than it ever. I was agree with what you're saying. How like right. language has problems with multiple interpretations and how words change over time. But the specific example <clears throat> Nate's using isn't a natural evolution of language. It's a a very conscious Political. choice to twist Tom, Tom. something to suit I an agree agenda. With Tom, Tom, maybe different. that's true, but that is completely irrelevant to the point that just the reality is it is simply used these ways and like you okay, okay like I, I sound like a, like a, the SJW side of things right now but it's just like I don't actually care who's like right or wrong about like what the word originally meant or who's twisting it for an agenda all I care about is that there is a miscommunication going on and people are talking past each other and that is the problem with language and that's why, like, that is my, that's exactly what Gib is talking about. Like, just for example, okay, you've got, like, SJWs. Well, okay, but I'll, let me just finish this yeah, real okay. quick. Just take a second. It's just that you've got a camp that just views the world from a situation where, like, racism means uh, prejudice plus power. Then you've got just this other camp that just believes to their core that it simply means discrimination based on race and power is irrelevant. Because these people are so deeply entrenched in believing these things, it doesn't matter where it came from. This is simply where we are right now. We can absolutely talk about why it's a problem that we got here, but it is the reality that people just can't agree that, on what they're talking that about. That is not a problem with language. I wanna, that, was, that, I wanna... that, was a, that was done on purpose. To Language make it facilitates medieval. this let issue. Me let mage. Let mage. <laughs> Okay. Language is a tool like any other. Blaming pe- of blaming language in itself for the faults of humans is like blaming water for people who drowned in it. Just Correct. because people can drown in it doesn't mean that water is supposed yes, to be blamed but... for it. No, no, no. But, wrong. Because right, the, no. okay, go on, go on, go on. The the thing I should I should make my 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 argument more specific. It's not that language sucks. I just say that because you know that's funny and music. Like yeah, oh, yeah, you're, it's you're, the, you're, it's you're, the you're, we're, being we're all about the memes here. We're all about yeah, the hyperbole. Exactly. Where are the memes? Well, there they are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What my point is, is that the, <laughs> the way language developed initially was like we were banging rocks together and people were mm-hmm. grunting and we were like, uh, what is this thing that is different from this other thing? And they came up with words. I mean, I don't know how it happened, but you know, eventually ook, ook o- versus over, single over, ook. over time, yeah. people invented words to mean certain things and they were like specific to wherever they lived and whatever they had. And that's why languages uh, are like different all over the world. Mm-hmm. And when a language spreads to other places, um, it becomes difficult to police the like keep the language consistent a lo- uh, among all those different places. Because okay, but that's not the language's fault. Also, like because it's, of the it internet, is, it's it's language. No, this is it, this is what I was getting to. My point is mm. not that language sucks. It's that language over a large amount of people, like too <clears> large, <throat> uh, it, it stops being useful for communication, which was its primary. For, uh, you know, purpose in the first place is to communicate ideas. If between different groups that are like, there's too many p- 
people and so many large groups of people have different interpretations of certain words, then the, the point of language becomes... Well, the point of language is lost, like that certain words are mm -hmm, not able mm -hmm. to be communicated properly between people. They have ideas, they have thoughts, and they're using words that other people don't agree with. If, like, in a, in a magical world where we didn't need that and we could, like, telepathically transmit ideas into people's heads, that would be better. Not, not possible. Give me that like, USB point, boy. But that's, but my, that's my argument, that, like, when there's too many people using the same language, it will inevitably stop being useful as a tool. No. Are, are you saying that we've reached Mage, that Mage, point, this or is just why. that will theoretically happen in the future? Have we reached that point now? Is that what you're saying? We're facing the issues as a result of it, for sure. We're L facing... Look at, we're okay, facing Gail, Gail it, it was always time like, to catch up. The internet no, was it, invented just, like, how many years ago? Mage, and... here, here's why it'll never happen, Mage. It'll, this will always be a fundamental problem with language. Okay, to your credit, there you, you, you do have a point. Given enough words... And given enough time to, like, the reason people write articles, right, to flesh out arguments and they write books to explain things. The problem is there is a fundamental problem with human beings and language because human <clears throat> beings just read headlines. We just read titles. We read, like, condensations of points that other people present to us. And that is because asking someone to read we a watch fully analytical point. YouTube videos explaining the anime to yeah. us instead well, of watching exactly. the damn anime. I mean, that is kind of an issue, yeah. They, like, the problem is, we are asking too much of the weak flesh of human beings to spend the time to learn things. And, I like, people can get over it. Of course they can. But they don't, like, enough. And this is a problem that people just don't want to spend the time reading something okay, when they can get a shorter version. I was supporting language my initial problem. point yeah, about definitely. blaming water where it's the people who are being So dumb. language no, but, is bad you, because you people are lazy? Are you things. fucking retarded? That's the dumbest point I've ever heard. Yeah, what yeah. the fuck? That, 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 language no, no, no. is bad Wait, because people are lazy. Language. That is your Look, point you, right you now. Guys, you guys want to just say that like, oh, well, humans can always adapt and change, but you're not facing the reality. No, the reality is some people are shit and some people aren't shit and that has nothing to do with language okay okay yeah i i understand what you're saying that like it's just human mm. nature that that's how people are gonna read but like right but i don't see how that's lang like that's not actually, language's fault yeah actually you know like, what? No, no no it is Nate, language's fault Nate, i agree with your point to the point that it proves your point wrong what you get down to the core of this is is that people in their eternal laziness try to find some sort of tool or technique or secret trick to just make it easier for them or to take the effort out of it, like reading the headline instead of the article, or thinking it's possible to have some form of word-based lexiconal communication that allows you to actually make everyone understand you all the time. Maybe there's no easy way out, no shortcut home. You just have to learn how different people use words every step of your way through as you go on through life. Words are like a martial art technique. You must master it, experience each fight that comes along the way, and improvise and be smart there's no we aren't a bunch of computers all manufactured in the same chinese sweatshop we're not all the same even if you can communicate dream to dream dream brains aren't all made the same there's no easy way out you just gotta fucking be smart and put a lot of effort into communicate yes. at all times yes and the are, fact that that is all true is the problem with language. That are, is the problem. So the, you're saying that language sucks because people spread fake news on Facebook. And, and, and that this, <laughs> this specific problem with, like, internet headlines, that's the reason why language no, no, no. is Listen, flawed. The problem Ooh. is that language is an incredibly inefficient medium for which us to acquire information. And people just don't put in the work to do language so. Is and it's fine, because language it's is so people. shit at it. Jeez. No, well, the, the, the I point, mean, the point but that's, is those two are interlinked. So language what you want yeah. is like is like um, you know, uh, like uh, the the games rating systems mm -hmm. for video games, or like like no wait, um, like content. Uh, what do you call it? Fair use, fair mm -hmm. use law mm -hmm. for like internet video. It's it's it was made a really really long time ago, and the world has changed a lot. And with the internet, it has changed really really quickly in a very very short time. And it's not as good as it used to be at explaining and communicating ideas, thoughts, and feelings as it once was. Because mm -hmm. the fact that people argue so much about semantics and getting the, the wrong words, the, the words wrong, and, you know, grammar Nazis, although those aren't really a thing anymore. Like, it's... I don't think language should be abolished. I don't think language should be stopped. I don't expect anyone to, like, stop <laughs> speaking. But I do want people to understand that talking is not as cool as drawing a picture. 
I just I just I want agree. people to to to, to go out well, and real life and have real experiences that, and less no. talking, okay. less like speaking, the less words. text. There no. is a language of visuals. There's a language of visual art. How? Wait, wait. I, no, I, how I, said in... the, I said earlier that I'm talking about text yeah. and speech. Yeah. Visual but, art yeah. is but like how... I'm not talking about I language like in general. Words. I have a couple. Yeah. I have a couple things. I have a couple things. First of all, I think. Mm -hmm. Visual language is a double-edged sword because it can be more specific in some ways, but can also be way more abstract than language in other ways. You can draw a picture and it can clearly represent something uh, literally, but if you're trying to communicate something subtextually with an image, it's way more vague than text. So okay. that's a problem. But like, Nate, are you trying to say that the that the, your argument is that we need some form of language that? instantaneously downloads an entire article's worth of content into someone's brain along with all the context for every single word choice behind it from that person's point of view? Is that what you I want? I am saying, if such a fictional thing existed, then that would be a better option to give people I all the information for sure, a point. Science fiction is definitely thing. better than reality. I will give you that point. <laughs> but but considering well, but that's that is every That is I my point. I... That language is not perfect, is my point. Yeah, and that is it. Well, like, congratulations! Like nothing's perfect. perfect. Yeah. This is what, well, what a completely so useless what do you, what point. What do you want then? You want me to just say, yeah, it's perfect. I guess I'll just say, no, no, it's not perfect. Language be perfect. We all, okay, okay. I don't. You guys are literally worse than Hitler. You're oppressing my ideas. You don't care about the Jewish I, people like me. I, Fuck I, you guys. I don't. Why do you want to abolish Israel? Tell me why. I don't just particularly tell me why. disagree with what I think is like the morsel of truth here, but it's just a gross hyperbole, and I don't not understand hyperbole. why it's why not. you guys are taking this to like the yeah, most why did, why does the fact that it's I don't why understand why you guys that it has are literally mean that you guys are bad. you're literally just mad that I'm articulating the problems with language that is no, you no right I'm, now. I'm mad that you're what? saying you're I'm, mad, I'm mad that you're saying you're that these problems right mean now. that they, they are a net the negative and that language is bad if we abolish like do you like okay, do you think that things would be better if we abolished language of course not Gabe you're making a better argument than Nate right now that's exactly what I said that it's not actually about no, just no one really an overall negative. You, I said bro. it's a boon. I okay, said it's a boon. We, we came about... at the problem is we came at this from a meme. We, That's the whole problem. We, we said this, a meme that we... language is bad. That's not actually true. So it's visual meme, language, you dip. right? Visual we... language is like fucking people only taught with the visual language back in the medieval times to like teach the Bible, Jesus. And I'm thinking, they only talk you know, with the visual language. Yeah, you what know, do you mean visual communication, right? They just have like fucking stained glass windows to like tell the whole Bible stories, right? And and I'm uh, thinking, you know, didn't they have the Bible though? Like, yeah, yeah like, most people couldn't illiterate. read back in the day. They're all uneducated. <laughs> yeah, people. that's why they. Had, that's why all those monks, monks had to illuminate Bible all those man, manuscripts. Bro. Right, they had to anyway, illuminate all those manuscripts is, I'm and spread the light of the gospel. <laughs> I'm, fucking, I'm fucking thinking about it. If the Second okay. Amendment had been instead of any words, had been like mm. a guy just with his family holding a gun. And then, like, a police officer taking the gun, but there's a red X over that, there'd probably be a lot less room for miscommunication, I suppose. If you think about, like, I mean, maybe. If you go to a, like, a fast food store, you see that little yellow sign, it'll say something in Spanish that means. No, but you know, Dibu, don't like, slip. with that image, and it could be English, interpreted as a guy taking away the gun from the officer. I mean, th that is, it could be interpreted different ways. Like, that open, that open, visual mediums just open up a whole, like, different set of possible issues, you know, and we can get into that. Yeah, but, but I, I think Gibb I and I are mostly I want to say about... a point, though, mm. before okay, everyone okay, started right. yelling. I think language is a tool, <laughs> just like any other, like I stated. Mm, mm. You don't play, you don't blame the pencil if you can't draw, you don't blame the pen, the like the brush if you can't yeah, paint. You know, point. you can't, you can't well, you, mage, blame mage, the chisel okay. if you can't sculpt. So why are but, you blaming here, the language if you can't because, use it as a tool to communicate because this is why, mage, Because this is why. Because like when I'm signing a check, I do play, blame the pencil if I use to sign the check because it is not doing everything I want it to do, i.e. actually inking. It's just like it, it is doing a different, not as good job as the, the tool I, think, I would I think ideally use. What, 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 what do you want to do? language a, a, to do? A, a better analogy for that, Nate, is, mm. is that... You know, uh, language is like a paintbrush, and like, mm. um, you know, a canvas is whatever, is a canvas. Mm. It used to be, you dip your paintbrush, it's a tiny little paintbrush, you dip it in, and then you can f fill in like a square, like a, two, a one centimeter square. You fill that in real quick, real easy, when the square's small. When the mm -hmm. square is like 200 feet long, and 300 feet tall, and you still have that same paintbrush, it's, a, it's the same tool, it's just mm -hmm. not as effective as it once was. And the paintbrush isn't sure. the same, though. There's also a multitude of You don't of blame colors. the paintbrush, you just blame the situation. The situation is, there are too many people that use the English language for the English language to be a right. really good 
form of com- communication I between everybody. I love the English language as a non-native speaker. I really love it because it's so broad and has so many words to describe the same things. It's it's literally like it's almost the same to me as drawing because you can shape your words like your sentences into specific things. I like role playing with people via text because I can shape sentences to reflect what I want to say and make like it's it's reading the <laughs> reading the replies it's like watching art because I love it. I love how I, unique it can yeah. be like you, I, you, you can you use different, different words, words for you got different words for like the animal, like you got you got pigs and then you got pork because that's like that that's the, that's the way like, like English evolved is it used to be peasants used to use oh, the word pig look, to k- d- kill shit. Don't and then misunderstand. The people... Don't yeah. don't misunderstand me. I love a lot of things about the English language, specifically how like looking at a word like yesterday and then understanding that yester is like a thing that you can apply to other words like yesteryear and yesterweek. Like like seeing how words come into being. Puns, like I puns. love, I, I love so much of stuff about I language love and, puns. And, and, and I think and like text. I, but is there I'm any other saying... language that has puns? By the way, I'm just curious because of I course, don't think Japanese my... has tons of puns. Yeah, what? Yeah, Japanese. Japanese. Oh, I mean, okay. Yeah. yeah, okay, that's good because I don't Does... think Lithuanians are very Lithuanians big on puns. Lithuanians don't have puns. That's I, that's I'm, I like well... because I tried to explain <laughs> to my mother what a pun was because like. Uh, long story but like she seemed very mm-hmm. confused i was like wait don't we have puns so like if there's any lithuanians listening right now if you know yeah. any lithuanian puns please let me know post some That's lithuanian funny. puns post some that... lithuanian puns in the comments you know not to be hey, mean l- or listen. anything but i feel like i'm watching like a kid's cartoon and like the like the little imp goes back to like the evil dark impville and they try to teach their family about happiness and smiles like, what, what is this of. sharing you're speaking of? What is okay, this? Uh, agreed. But okay, but listen, listen. I think we are currently experiencing what my problem is with language. And and it, it is a large issue. And I'm perfectly willing to say that. And like it ties into Ben's question that he asked before. What do you want language to do? Okay. So that that is a great question. And the the whole reason for our screaming and yelling, I think we basically are all on the same page, but okay, let me let me approach it. It's like me and Gib are viewing this conversation from the perspective of how there are the, how things are not perfect with language. Whereas I think someone like Maze, just for example, is approaching this as how the world would be worse without language. So to have language, she sees all the benefits. So she's focused on the positives and is like, well, why? How can you say you know language is shit? It does all these good things. That's a perfectly reasonable thing to say. I think because <clears throat> we're approaching it from different perspectives, Nate, that's the issue. Nate, it's, I'm not saying Nate, language is Nate, you're saying Nate, fuck language. I'm so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if this comes off as shitty or anything. I'm sorry if this uh-huh. pisses you off. But I'm really waiting for you to get to the point. <laughs> I, I Nate, have many I do times disagree, already. Though on my on how you describe my view and it no my view is if you're a, a language is a tool and it's up to the people how they use it. If they do a shitty job, that's not the language's fault. If your point is that language is imperfect, exactly. then that's you know, just, well, uh, w- w- gotcha. <laughs> Message received. Yeah, I mean, uh, and, and podcast over. Point but is listen, a... listen though. The, the Ben's question: What do you want language to do? Okay, that's what this all hinges on. I want like. Language is what it is. It like again, we're talking like spoken and like written language. Like that just it is what it is. It can't really change that much. You could probably update with like Esperanto, they're trying to. That's fine. But there are inherent limitations. Like what I want is a better form of communication that, for example So like a like, different language. <coughs> it's you're defining communication as language, which I think is just wrong. Because there are things that I are don't not think that's language. Wrong. Okay, no, no, now you're now you're hopping because like well, then I'm telling give, you, no, no, I'm telling give... you right now, I'm talking about spoken and written language. I don't care about anything else. But just That's now, it. you just contradicted yourself. Listen, how? have you tell me how I contradicted myself? Yeah, you, okay. Well, I don't think we agree. Okay, you don't seem okay. You, I, I don't get why you don't think that any form of communication is a language. I think that it definitely is. Uh, and I think that, yeah, text and speech is imperfect and can be improved upon, but, like, it's, it, 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 you're not gonna, like, you can only iterate on it and make it better. You can't replace it with something else that does the same thing. I, but I'm not trying to say it does the My... exact same thing. Also, listen to the definition of language. A body of words and the systems for their use common with to a people with, with who are of the Wouldn't same community or nation, right the same geographical area. Listen, it's words make up language. If you're not communicating with words, Th- that's... it's not a okay, language. Okay, well, I'm sure I could find some alternate definitions that do not... Sp- oh, that, yes. Because, yeah, that's not the only kind of language there is. 
Okay, there's a, the, there's one down here. There's another definition that says communication of meaning in any way. So now here's the question. Yeah. Are you wrong or am I wrong or are we both sort of right? What's who, what is it? It's up to you to define it. Like, no, exactly. Yeah, I guess the, I guess we're arguing across definitions a little bit. Exactly. Which is shitty. Exactly. That, that, it is shitty. That's exactly. A and big, therefore, one of the a problem problems with language. With language yeah. Thank you, okay. everyone. Okay. Okay. Whoa. But, but wait, wow. I guess Nate. I've been. I guess Nate. I've been blown no. out of the water. No, I guess I've Christ. just been Nate. completely. That solves nothing. That point does not change. Even we had some magic psychic language yeah. where we could instantly right. say things. If I disagreed with your fucking definition of language, it doesn't matter if I could understand what you meant perfectly. I'd still disagree. No, 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 no. This, this, is not, this is not a plea okay. to make the world m more agreeable. This is just like, you know, sometimes I kind of get mad that people <coughs> uh, uh, don't agree on words. That's all my point. Well, I mean, my point is more specific to something not quite as what Nate is going for, I think. Mm. But like, you, you know, you know the classic thing, the picture's worth a thousand words and all that. Pictures are good. They, they convey a lot of meaning and a lot of things that words can't do uh, quite as well. My, I think my more favorite than that expression... Is, is, oh, sorry. <laughs> my, well, more than that is that um, if I were to like either like s explain a story of, like uh, I don't know, a baby being born and then the, the mother dying or something, like a tragic story, mm -hmm. oh no, it's sad. Um, if I were to explain that with words, even if I was really good at speaking, even if I was really good at writing, it wouldn't work quite as much as like being there and like seeing the tragedy like unfold mm -hmm. before you. It wouldn't hit you as hard. And I feel like, not that you're supposed to go out into the world and see tragedy, that's not really the, the, the good thing. That you, In fact, uh, mm -hmm. tragedy's bad, and uh, please don't actually happen. But <laughs> If you I, would, I, I feel, tragedy, I, uh, spare yeah. us. I, I feel like people spend a lot of their fucking time talking on the internet, and I think they would be much happier and much more fulfilled in life if they just forget about speaking for once and do I, something real in the real world in Pokemon Go. I, sure. I, I completely agree <laughs> yeah. with your yeah, point, but I don't totally. know why you're like, you're like, you're, you're, you're taking that point and channeling it into like <laughs> language is bad. Like I agree that people should go and experience the things and not like just like communicate through art or words or whatever and okay, just, and just munchy, fantasize munchy, munchy. about like the abstraction of it. But have, I don't understand why that, that is focused munchy, directly it, onto language. Well, I think have, Nate has sort of co-opted the my, my feelings on the matter. I'm yes. not as like I don't I'm speak for myself. Like, I we just, we just so happen to be like kind of on the same side. I'm not like saying language sucks, and I don't think we should get rid of language. I don't think anything should happen to language. I'm just like, uh, uh, wouldn't it be nice if you just sort of like you you sit on uh, you sit out on the beach and you just sort of look at someone and you smile and you and you share a moment with each other. And it's like you don't need to say I'm happy. That uh, you don't need to draw a picture about it. You just sort of like you feel it. You feel it more innately and more real. Th there are things that words you, can't describe, and those are valuable. Thing, yeah. Have those you are guys are words that can't describe? Have you I, guys? I, I'm completely on like you with that. Have you guys ever heard the this the the phrase um, writing about music is like dancing about architecture? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just thought yeah. that was interesting. Please yeah, continue. I, mean, I, I I do agree with Hippo, and it doesn't invalidate my oh, point man. whatsoever. You know what, guys? I think I, I want to just say that even if words aren't the best communication, they're far from the worst. Because dancing, like interpretive dancing, okay, let's see. She's, she she <laughs> okay. she spun around. Yeah, right. She spun around ninety degrees. Okay. Oh, now she spun around one hundred and eighty degrees. Okay. Is this Morse? Oh, oh, she jumped. Oh man, this totally is like uh, the fucking Renaissance period, right? Oh man, here comes some Bohemian shaking your hand around a little bit. <laughs> Oh, I totally understand this language. Definitely, I'm not bored. Definitely, I'm. I'm. I'm glad you brought I, this up. I. Th I feel like. I feel like we need to dig into the issue that, like, like the the definition, Nate. The definition that you were using, like, you were mm -hmm. defining like a linguistic language, like English or French. But like, yeah, I yeah. think it's more. In, I th I'd, I'd rather talk about language in the more abstract way. But there's a thing like the language of of vis of like cinema, you know, or body language, or things okay. like that. Okay, now just language the point that is distinct the from words. everything yeah. I made points I mean, about previously. I was not talking about anything besides the spoken and written word, and I'm happy to talk about that. But that like those points do not apply okay. in the same way. Okay, yeah. well, how how are you guys pro or anti uh, language in general? Like the language of cinema, <laughs> well, I'm, I'm pro language. Pro pro communication so yeah yeah well yeah. okay l let me let me just say as a larger point so so the 
We made a huge mistake about having a serious discussion on this matter by even taking a for or against position. It's like this. Uh, my position here is that there are imperfections with the theoretically ideal form of communication I envision in my brain that yeah. la the spoken and written word have. It is not perfect. In my opinion, these are large issues and they cause big problems. We can then, uh, but like, but I, I want to just identify what those problems are. That is what, it, like, to, to say that I'm anti-language puts a huge label on, like, I'm in this team, you're in that team, and then we just argue. That is a huge mistake if you want to have an actual debate as to, like, or not, yeah. not even debate, just a discussion about what the actual points are. Yeah, labels as themselves to, like, are usually cinema. badly used words. Yeah. No one has brought in the idea mm. that language is perfect besides you. Like, none of us have said that language is perfect in any but way. Munchie, and Munchie, all of us have you, that's thousands not, that's of problems not, with language. I am not debating that you think language is perfect. I'm simply saying language has these problems, and I think they're a big deal. All right. Well, I think that we're well past I don't think now. anyone disagrees yeah. with that idea, but the way you <laughs> Then why were it, you arguing with me? The, the, at, the like, because you were expressing it in an When did I ever say that? I very much appreciate I think I think I think Nate's got us all or got you all in, in a little little trick and a little ruse. Nate has been arguing his point by using language really really badly to explain his point. <laughs> Nate, to thus proving the point in, hey, in an old in God. a reverse no, still double reach my point, around. Though. I'm literally a thousand times smarter than all of you. You are ants. You are babies. You are children. Before, guy. For a guy. Nate, we, we, we have, a guy. we've been doing this diaper, show. Changes diaper, everyone. Changes okay, diaper. I just... Nate, Nate, Not we've been child. doing this show for, 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 for over a hundred episodes now. And in that mm -hmm. time, I've heard you discuss many a topic. And mm -hmm. I think this topic, more than any, has made me realize with uh, with no no uncertainty of how miserable it must be to be you sometimes to be trapped <laughs> to be to be trapped in this endless intellectual masturbation of all these incredibly insane ideas and having to just constantly be thinking about them and unable to just like let them go. Hashtag become, fucking I mean, earned. Hashtag fucking earned. I mean, yeah, I think about things more than you guys. Yep, that's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> true. How, what a, what a yep. miserable existence it's you tough. must lead. Like, you know, someone's got to do it. Someone's yeah, got to do it. Yeah, yeah. Life, 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 life is a Thank cage. God it's not me. And it, death if, is if the key. If we can get away from the, from the central issue right, uh, right here, I would like to do, like, like one uh, pro-language little point here that I think me and Ben can get into on this. Yes. This is the reason why language is great. Give me something because to sink my teeth into. It, there are <laughs> big words and there are rare words. You have your commoner pig slop speak. You have your ands and thes and hellos. But then you bring out shit like carascaro. Uh, oh, what's another Is big that one? English? Pretentious. It's Italian. Anti disestablishmentarianism. Oh. Anti disestablishmentarianism. Yeah, there it you is. You got big shit like that. And I love, I fucking love to Sister break Italian. out big words and rare words. It's like it's like getting a Pokemon card. It's getting like a holographic Pokemon card. You're reading an essay, you're, you're listening to something. He says a big fucking word, and you go, wow, that guy's fucking smart. And it's okay, great. yeah, that 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 do does like support those. my point. I, I'll just quite, uh, I'll just quickly adjust it. Rather than uh, language being a paintbrush, rather a uh, language is a paint, and you're the paintbrush. So whatever picture, like, and it's up to you to paint the picture that you want to paint, you know. And so language is kind of like that. Each word is a color, and you have to, you know, make it all. I mean, in Japan, together. that's quite literal. Mm -hmm. Language yeah. is they, like a language is like a bunch of Jenga blocks, and your <laughs> and your sentences are the tower. Oh, um, the curtains yeah. are and, and they all and come, your opinions and they all come tumbling, tumbling down. down. And, tumbling and you know down. what? And you know what? Some sort of data link that communicates all context, all the points that you were gonna make that just instantly transferred that information me, would be a better would be a skyscraper Nate, that was invincible and indestructible. Are how would that are, Nate, be fight better. me on this. How is okay. that? How is a data link or some kind hmm. of like digital yeah, data I think transfer? between minds yeah. how is that not just using another language how is that not just converting things well, to computer I'm still language confused why Nate is if, if you arguing recall, then, arguments here, none of us i think suggest that you're just <laughs> arguing your own damn ideas but Nate. but see well, but see here, you the, saying but you saying that language is good in these ways is in fact a completely separate point i'm not saying language is good oh God, i never Nate. said language is good i said language you, you is a tool you literally said language said, is good way before i said language is good you fucking time. asshole I said, and i agree and i agree but that's not fuck? my point then what the my fuck are you that talking not about perfect. that Nate, is not perfect Nate's my point is that and i never said it's perfect i keep saying it's a tool you use it if you Nate, it poorly. Like, it happens. Oh my God. You just don't. <laughs> Nate, look, the, the problem is that. Like, let me. Let's let's go back. Let's, uh, 
<laughs> hey Poe, what when uh, what was the last time you bought Pokemon cards? I got it a couple months ago and I got a hollow in my first pack. Munch, you get years. out of my eardrum, it hurts. I, I like Pokemon cards. Stop, I hate ASMR. I Guys, we're just them. we're just Nate, talking past Nate each other. Actually, no. I actually have a point to make. I just came up with, but it's something uh, I've always opinionated. Do you I really do think, think that I think language now. has no value, even though I distinctly <laughs> no, said that's not the case? The problem is, <laughs> God damn it. Okay, I'm dude, pissed off. Nate, Nate, I'm, Nate, I'm pissed off. This, this is why he wants a better uh, alternative to language because he, he he can't use the one we have. <laughs> let me Nate, let me tell you, Nate. The, I don't understand the any of your points against me. And no, it's just funny. The ambiguity and misunderstandability of words is saves yeah. as many lives, prevents as many wars as it causes. If someone asks, "Oh, hey, person at the grocery store, how are you today?" Well, do hey. you're literally making that up. You have no Wait, justification. I, I, for that. I, I, can I? Can I just? I want to go back to an example that you said, Nate. Just, just not to argue, but just to request clarification. Okay. Okay. I want, okay. I want to better understand your position for the sake of sure. extending an olive branch. One of the first examples you cited was talking about the racism definition and how there's multiple yes. definitions, and that causes confusion, and that's a weakness mm -hmm. in language. What I am trying to figure out is because you're saying that we need a superior version of language where you like like we can kind of like communicate all subtext and all meaning in addition mm, to the right. points we're that's saying, right? right? Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. using that specific example, if somebody <coughs> who's like a super far left, crazy, regressive lefty kind of guy mm -hmm. was able to communicate this way and communicated their idea of racism, whatever instantly mm -hmm. into someone else's brain who had the more traditional definition. Yeah. No, yeah. How would that change anything? Because That's the my, person I'm so glad you asked. Yeah, I'm still so glad you asked. Is gonna I, think about this I have a believe. point to make about this. I will make it later, you motherfuckers. I'm gonna say it. I'll just, I'll give me some time, but I'm gonna get back to it. Uh, okay, I'll but Tom, that. that's a that's a great question. How does I'm really help glad you that? asked. Okay, he, here's how. Here's how. Because I, I would argue that because people are using, for example, the different definition of the word racism, they're using the same word, but they mean different things. That means they are not actually debating equal, like, the ideas of one versus on the same level. So, like, again, like, somebody who's, like, uses the older version of the word saying that, like, you know, I think racism is, or, or like, like, so for example, saying, like, minorities can be racist. And then you've got, like, a big SJW saying, like, no, minorities can't be racist. But they're not actually saying the same thing. So they're, I, they're not actually debating the same idea. And therefore, a real communication, a real examination of those same ideas is not happening. If... If they just knew, if both sides knew exactly what the other meant, and we removed the ambiguity of the word, they could, like, the person would say, well, like, oh, okay, like the right-wing person would say, for example, here, like, oh, I get it, you're saying that, like, privilege is real, um, you know, and I, I can admit that to some degree, um, but I still think it is bad to discriminate based on race across the board, and if the left-wing person, with the new definition, is saying, oh, okay, like it's good that you accept that, and we, what we actually disagree on is if the, if it's like, okay to discriminate against people who have power you know for example like white people who are the majority in america if we're having that debate that is a substantive debate which i Do think is just way that better that's happening in the vast majority of cases when this debate is being had because like absolutely I've, not absolutely i've read not. i've read articles and listened to, to videos of people using the the regressive the lefty form of racism and i understand the position they're coming from and i still think it's retarded but Tom, would you say, would you say, Tom, well, that even if, as you say, the majority do that, if there's even a good chunk of people who are making this mistake, wouldn't it be Nate's, nice if that didn't happen? Nate, I, I mean, think, I, think I can't, sort of I like, can't like, solve like, other people's issues of well, stupidity. I, I, think, I think you guys are talking about different things. Like, Nate, what you're saying, you're say, you're, what you're saying yep. is just that, that the <sighs> conversation is a non-starter because from the very beginning, both mm -hmm. when, when both parties are using the same word, the same signifier to mean mm -hmm. different things, then like yes. no real yeah. communication is taking place. Like, exactly. It, it, like, it would all be fine if we could like make two different words for those two different things, then the conversation right. like not like saying nothing about yeah. who's right yeah. or who's wrong just the con exactly. the conversation could then proceed in earnest yeah that yeah. is Nate, exactly right ben Nate, thank yeah. you the, the, the ambiguity the of language is invaluable but we, but we don't have it's, it's it, how our society yeah. is made it's the fact that we can say a thing and we could have different ideas of that thing but we can still sometimes still kind of carry along and if we did data link for everything and you're in the store and someone goes hey how are you today and the answer is i want to fucking kill somebody you know, 
Uh, it would be kind of hard to go to the grocery store, but that's wait, actually wait, wait. What most so you're, you're saying it's better to not know that there are murderous people around us. If I would you had the ability point. to just suck your brain right into someone's actual thoughts, you'd be running and scampering up, down, left, right for your life. But, but Davu, that'd be, Davu, that should why, be like a video game or something. I don't know. You don't. You don't have to broadcast your thoughts to anybody. I mean, even in this theoretical situation. Oh, like it's your what's choice. Your fucking, called? your motherfucking, a psychopath. Utilitarian Civil society system? without, yeah. with where all of our mouths are sealed shut and we all have USBs in our fucking necks. You, the bunch of nosy people will start poking around their USB cords, trying to like poke you, trying to surprise you, like whoop, plugged in. Now I get to know exactly what you're thinking, and it's like fuck <laughs> well, you. Devo, Devo. I always <laughs> hated you. I want hate Devo, sex I'm, with I'm you. I'm happy. Wait, I'm happy I don't want to make hyperbolic I like language statements because language is anarchy. That's nice. <laughs> language is anarchy. Yeah. Uh, ah, I well, want to talk I don't, about. I don't like anarchy. I want to talk about <laughs> data link. I want to pick apart the idea. I want to pick apart the idea that we so could some, that we could somehow circumvent uh, uh, an imperfect language through the use well, of ben, some ben, kind I of data might, link. Oh, think, we can do that if you want, but I think that's a huge waste of time because I I'm think not you're a huge waste of time. This whole podcast. I agree. Is a huge waste of time. This podcast. Why, sucks? why does everybody think this is a huge waste of time? This has been a great podcast. No, no, this has been I, a great yeah, I, I, I have, really I've, enjoyed it. I've been it. enjoying myself. I just think, like, to attack this hypothetical system, I'm not actually trying to defend a no, hypothetical system. Listen, I'm just I, promoting I, one I, way that we could improve language. Look, is I my mean, I mean, goal. you and not just you, you and people, mm. like, throw out mm. this idea that if we could just like digitize our thoughts and communicate them directly to each other that like we would somehow know more about each other but i say that that mm. is just like a different version of the same thing because you're still converting you're still converting to a shared language a computer language and ultimately okay here's here's what i want to throw out and i and i think we could discuss it or maybe everyone will think it's a big waste of time in which case mm. whatever <laughs> fuck you um it are our thoughts are our innermost thoughts all, like a language of their own, or are they languageless? Yeah, yeah oh, no, kinda. different brains so. are different. Obviously, I mean, if we were yeah. to data, the, the, the if we language were to say, as hey, it is now yeah. is a is a translation tool to get mm -hmm. things out of your brain. But do they but do they originate in your brain? Do they originate like as like pure thought, or is or is pure thought happening? Well, I think I in think like the, an like, inner like language, don't you think people will find a way to manipulate those thoughts anyway, and just like not be honest in some way? People will do that. Humans, humans like have like uh, uh, fucking glands and 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 things that create emotions. I don't. I'm trying to think of the words. I can't think of the words. Well, um, the like. You know, humans feel lust and rage and sadness and all these things, and those are caused by chemicals in the I'm brain. all those right now. Well, question, question: <laughs> Does an English like does an English speaker think in English, or do they think in an inner language and then translate I think, to I English? I think what happens is mm. that you know when you're I mean, when that's, you're that's young, a hello internet before before topic. you before I know you that's why language, I'm bringing it up. I think I think they're probably you probably don't have like specific words for those things. I think as we grow older and learn our first language, that's how we identify things. This is something I've thought about sometimes too. Is like because I've always thought about learning other languages and like people who have learned other languages. Like your internal monologue is always going on. And like Mage, maybe this is a question for you because you don't speak English. Like because I, <laughs> yes, I don't, she my, does. You don't, <laughs> well, you don't speak <laughs> English. <laughs> you don't. I, <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck. shit! Damn. I have no idea what that meant. Well, my, my point, my point is that like, like, because I was like, if I learned another language, what? my brain would probably still be thinking primarily in English, and I'd be translating to that other language. So, like, is your internal monologue still in Lithuanian, or does like English poke in there every now and then? Like, Actually, how does it... uh, for mm, me personally, mm. can't say this is for everyone because it pro it's probably not. But for me personally, my internal monologue is English, and I usually wow. I default I default to Lithuanian usually when I start counting things. Nice. That's usually the only time. I, I, I feel like well, I feel the only like Lithuanian like allowed on this podcast is Lithuanian puns. So, <laughs> so uh, I, I feel watch like there's yourself. a difference. There's there's a difference in the brain, in the mind, brain, thought, brain tank, uh, between like monologues and thoughts i feel like i don't think in words until i think about thinking in words and then i can't stop thinking in words until i forget and then i'm like oh wait have i been thinking in words all this time or have i been thinking in 
like a, just a nebulous sort of feeling, like a, like I think a gut the, instinct. The sort scientific of thing. reason for that is because, like, you have your neocortex, which is the newest part of your brain, and that's where, uh, like, our capacity for language is. But then we right. have uh, the limbic brain, which is where decision making and emotion comes from, and that has no capacity for language. So when you're thinking emotionally, your brain isn't even thinking with words because the part of your brain doing all the response. Oh, yeah. All that you guys ever, and, and, and we you can guys turn ever those, notice how, those like, signals we, we, into, we, and we um, can brainwave yeah. blast them with a the, with the right. thing. So like, yeah. emotions you guys ever are sometimes like irrational, each other. And, just, and if you communicate your emotions, there's going to be a lot of miscommunication. Right. No, right. No, guys, you ever know, do you ever fucking uh, notice? Do you ever fucking notice that, like, sometimes something will happen or someone will even say something and you have a reaction and only, like, maybe a second later do you even, like, realize why you had that reaction. Like, you don't even... Right. You have to, like... like you react to the offense before it. you even actually understand why you're offended. I, I, right. I have that sometimes, like, that's too, my YouTube, but I think it's just because I'm a child. I don't know <laughs> what the yeah. problem is for everyone else. Uh, well, hey, let, let me just throw this out here, because I, I think this... This is happening, and I just think that there's a little bit of talking about it, like Mage's point just now, you know, it, it's perfectly fine, I'm not trying to attack you, it's just, so like, uh, so, so like, Gib and I, for example, say that like, okay, there's a problem with language, uh, and, and it's this, and then, like, we say like, okay, uh, here's like, what we would consider, like, a better version, so for example, you know, this like, telepathic communication, where we can really articulate ourselves, and communicate like, everything in a blame blast, it's fictional, I, I get it, and then, you guys, in response to that, say, Okay, but that has these additional flaws. No, I'm not uh, saying that it's, it's flawed. Not I'm saying that it doesn't make any sense. I don't. I don't think it circumvents the problem at I all. I think. I think there. I think it's. If you're gonna. If the point is there's a problem with language, I agree. There's there's mm -hmm. in inherent problems with spoken language, and there's limitations. Would a brain mm. blast yep. be superior in some ways? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Jimmy does Neutron's it, got it down. Does yeah. it yeah. Brain still, blast is always superior. Uh, does it with, still with have problems? Wait, wait, let, let Tom finish. It's let still, Tom, it, yeah. But there's still issues. There's still issues even with that. Because yeah. Yeah. even are the same issues. Tom, I 100% agree. Uh, Munchie, I think you are objective. Well, okay. No, like, Munchie's but the, right. But the specific, the specific point I made, for example, about including like more context. Like, for example, the fact that like the word racism, again, you yeah, mean but different things. To go if back to that example too, though, Nate, is that it, even even if better. even if everybody understood everyone's context, not everybody agrees mm -hmm. on the context. So you're you're still not going to have a hundred percent understanding. But 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 Tom, de debating the context, my argument <gasps> is is that is a more productive debate than de than just using the wrong word. Like that's a step back. And I would like to be that step forward where we're actually clashing on the ideas. You can say that, like, that's useless. I mean, the I disagree. Problem, I, guess, I, disagree. I guess my problem is that, like, that's an issue that beyond language, right? Because if you really wanted to solve that problem, like, you could write an article and then you could have little hyperlinks over all your hot button words and explain exactly what you mean by them. And then people would understand what you mean by racism. You just hover over racism, a little pop up thing comes up. Yeah, this exactly. is what I mean. Prejudice plus power. And then, like, you can know that. But but what, what you're doing is you're offering exactly what what I'm offering, like a fix to this specific problem. Sure, and, but like, I, that's, I don't. Which I don't, doesn't involve brain tubes. I don't. I just well, that, don't that's think just that that's. Joke. I don't that's think a, that's inherently a problem with language in and of itself. Like it's a limitation, but like it can be addressed. I just think that. Oh, it's even, a limitation, but not a problem, is it? Oh, even, I see. I even, see how it is. Yeah, because even even if you you are able to address this with like psychic communication, automatically know everyone's mm -hmm. context behind it. Like you, people still aren't going to agree. The problem lies okay, with I've got, I've got is, is the problem this is the problem this we're calling it a problem you call it a limitation is the problem just that one has a negative label and the other has no, like a neutral no, label. Okay, no, no, Nate, we, listen think... the problem lies within the humans not within the language i told i mean i disagree for all the reasons i've already stated i think that language is inherently is, limited that i said i don't like, disagree that language has problems is that, by the way la language well, then that's as my a point tool. though okay. but no yeah. you said language yeah. is bad but I, I, I mean, I've walked that back. It is not bad. It is way better than having no language. And so, let, I, like, you win. Language is not bad. My point is just that it's not perfect. And maybe I'm wrong. Uh, I, 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 never, I never, I never said that it was perfect. There we go. Is Done. That humans, humans are flawed creatures, and they, you know, it's it's okay to blame the humans for misusing words, but I feel like, 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 uh, like I said earlier. The, the, the usage, the point of language is to communicate ideas, and it doesn't work on such a large <clears throat> scale as it is in today's age of the internet and mm. everybody being connected. Uh, is, does anybody have, a, a, like, an issue with that statement? Uh, I think the internet as a whole proves that language is doing a damn good job. I mean, the, the, the only... Whole, I, right now. The only... 
it's not even a rebuttal to that, Gabe. It's just that, like, that is a consequence just sort of of, like, as more people from different backgrounds and areas came in contact with each other, that was, that was you know, that was just going to arise as soon as that happens. But, like, yeah, it's basically, it's a more archaic form of communication. Just the fact that we have multiple languages is basically, like, an archaic thing that it would sure be nice if we could, like, get past that particular I, you know, issue. I will, to, to springboard off that, why the fuck haven't yeah. we gone, like, Star Wars or Star Trek and have, like, a universal mm-hmm. basic everybody listens to? I constantly think about that. Like Esperanto, Esperanto boy, here why, we go. Esperanto. why isn't Esperanto like funded war. by everybody and and a yeah. requirement for for all countries? You know, you know why? You, you know, know why? It's because people are tribal and they like their history. That's why. I don't. Why. There's no reason to not just have that in addition to. Like it should be yeah, fair point. We also, should, people are lazy. There also should be a stripped down, very basic form of language that everyone. Uh, you know, learns. I'll, I'll tell you exactly why I would argue. Like uh, the reason I wouldn't want to do it is because. English looks like it's doing pretty well right now. I'm just going to hold out hope that English just wins and everybody starts speaking English. Therefore, I have to do as little work as possible. I well, think a lot of people probably that hold up that very hope. very weird utilitarian. Where right are the structural issues in language, Nate? Like, like are, are, is there anything inherent to language that makes it undesirable? Or would just adding more <laughs> words and more syntax be accomplishing what you want? I think ultimately the problem with language is that it is based on, like, group consensus, as Gibb said, and just inherently as, like, if we could theoretically impose some, like, like French, for example. French is a language where there is an organization in France that dictates what words mean. They have, like, a body that, that decides this. So in France, technically, like, you know, they'll, they'll like, write in stuff of, like, the consensus just changes and they incorporate scuba de bop. That means, like, a skateboard. It's just another word for skateboard. Cool. But, uh, like, in that language... You can't just make you, – you cannot, like, change the definition of a word. Uh, well, the, the problem is that's not enforceable. Things will just change no matter what. You can't even have an organizational body impose from top down what words mean because right. they're just responding to well, what people well, do there you in go, the Nate. world anyway. It sounds like the languages reflect the cultures. No one would even think to do yeah. that for English because it's like, okay, is London going to decide? You think you're going to have any luck getting America it, to it, agree? This is all to my point that but these like, are limitations but like, of language. But, but, yeah. but, but French – I mean, I'm sure there's mm-hmm. lots of French com- places around the world, but it's mostly France, right? Isn't it? Is yes. It? So, like, well, France is I a mean, big like, country. Pr- yeah. There's so a lot of places that speak French, like but in Africa. There's, di- there's French different French beginning. dialects. Uh, but yeah. but what's, what's your point? What's your point, the though? The point is French can do shit like that because it's a little bit more centralized. English can't. You know, other languages reflect their geographical realities. So I think those languages are perfectly fine for those I- kinds of people. I, 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 I when okay, the 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 racism problem. <coughs> Why can't we just say okay, racism? Too, people think racism means two different things, or maybe even multiple different mm-hmm. things. All you gotta do is just so correct them. Let's let's just add an adjective. Oh, this is special racism. Special racism, like are there? This no, is like because people with racism, a, people th- with the th- political agenda means. don't want to do that because they want to manipulate the masses. That is true. That that is true. Like when you when when like somebody says that was racist, uh, or, or like just for example, if like uh, this is just a crazy example, but like if a minority like kills a white person, they say that's not a hate crime because it wasn't motivated by race. Like even if the person said, like let's say this person said, I'm killing this white person because they're white. That's why I'm doing it. Like like the the, the new definition can make a case that that wasn't a racist and wasn't a hate crime because in their definition, it's you can only be racist if you lack social. If, if, Here's, yeah, if you lack social. Here's power. my but fucking that's thing not, I, with the confusion of words. Here's why the confusion of words is natural and good and should be embraced. People, what you're doing, Nate, is you're doing the fallacy, to reframe what I said earlier, the fallacy of wanting to have permanent simplifications. What I want is interesting conversations. How is that, what is the fallacy? If there are, the, it's not, I guess it's not a fallacy, it's not like a logical fallacy, but it's a, um, what we call a fool's errand to try to find okay, some sort sure. of formula. And I know it's a fallacy that programmers especially fall into all the time. They want to like come up with some sort of formula that, that just takes the edge off. And that's what people want with like communication. Oh, if we just have but, this perfect but vote, formula. No, no, I'm finishing his point. So okay, that's okay. the reason why these podcasts always derail into these technical conversations conversations because we're trying to like find the perfect like formulation of the exact definition whereas but if we just let but the but confusion to reign and just like in iron no way. out little kinks as we want then the podcast will be better and if you let conversations and different disagreements like what racism means means you can always make communicating your definition of racism part of the conversation it gives you something to fucking talk about and makes the conversation it's a, waste of time. a little it's a waste bit of time. less inane 
And if you know the, exactly the how to rebut that, every version of the f wrong version of racism, you can already have your pre-scripted rebuttals ready to go. And won't even take any effort. The, the That's thing not is, Davu, in this very podcast, I have seen people bring up things that Nate has gone back on. Um, be, like maybe they like what they didn't they forgot about it. Like 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 you saying language sucks. Like we only said that right at the very beginning. And then we That's said, the one thing I went back. Language sucks. Yeah. And but like that has like colored the perceptions of everyone. Mm -hmm. And and they 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 hang they they hung on to that to 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 bring it up and like well I'm framing this from this perspective that you have now gone back on but I forgot or like I didn't listen or I wasn't really thinking about it. It's just Nate it. is still on this whole case. Nate, you're still on this whole case of like fucking uh well you know language isn't like perfect but it's not like bad but it's not like perfect like I don't care. <laughs> Got him. Well, for somebody who doesn't care, you sure talked a lot. Oh, oh, got him. Oh, I'm, I don't you know should see me dabbing him. right now. I don't know who's been um, got the, here. The, 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 the one Someone thing, the one thing that I I feel like is like it's kind of like lawyering. It's kind of like the lawyer, the the justice system and laws and lawyers, where the the point of like using co-opting a word and making it uh, have a different definition to to push a political agenda, is um. Like just like how law uh, is written to be I incredibly confusing, so that poor people can't figure it out, and they yep. have to pay a really expensive guy to to translate it for them. Sure. And um, this is this is a really nasty thing, and I don't like it. These are and, these are uh, trans issues. The fact that someone has to translate, I get it. Oh right. well. <laughs> and it's and it's it's just sort of like people don't have. Like, say a word is changed, like 50 words are changed and somebody just wasn't paying attention because they don't use those <laughs> words often. And then they see, they read a thing and it has that word mm -hmm. and they're like, they're really confused, but they don't have like the time or like they're too, po they, they just don't, th it doesn't come up enough in their life to, to think about all the different things that are going on and keep track of all of them. They probably have to pay a guy to, 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 to give them like an update every so often, like an app on their phone oh. to like, all right, here's what this word means now. You got, and all the books that are in the, in the now mm -hmm. you know why they're so confusing and it's like wait it's just it's just i don't like it I've i don't got, like a lot of it i've got an answer i know why we can't do that thing with racism i know why we can't like just be mm. like okay well now mm. there's two different racisms it's because that it's because unlike unlike the french those rat bastards um mm -hmm. we don't we don't have like a council that decides what words mean um, right. words mean right. whatever we say they mean words mean whatever we collectively agree that they mean and and that's why but there's a disagreement unfortunately there is a to, there uh... is a disagreement but there's no authority that can yeah, step yeah. in and be but, like well here's what it actually means yeah that's the yep. biggest problem but, with but, but new what, I think words it has have to been be made before there have been new words made so can't well, we do that yeah, but, but they weren't, getting but they a weren't new like, word they... to be used by everybody is really difficult they weren't passed sure. down from on high they were like mm -hmm. They they like generated. I mean, except maybe in certain cases, they were generated out of the ether. And like and like a grassroots kind of campaign could like you know campaign for a new word or something. I mean, like one I can emerge feel... through social media. Or you know, remember there's that sure. book called Frindle. I, I, I remember like... that book Frindle? I never read that, it. That but happened. Yeah. Do you remember yeah. that book, The Hobbit? Do you remember, you remember how, that book, like, The Bible? <laughs> no, no, how, it's an actual point. Okay. Fucking. J.R.R. Tolkien created oh, yeah. a language of Elvish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But because it, I believe. he created a whole language of Elvish that people can study, and it's like really funny, and they can <laughs> pretend to be elves, and they can speak with Elvish, and it's all really funny and cool. And the reason that language will never change is because people don't want to be non-canon. They don't want to be like that guy. Mm -hmm. So they will mm -hmm. always stay to the canon uh, language. So there is an authority. So Elvish will never devolve into... Like, there will never be Elvish, like, um... Slang. I don't know, uh, slang. Yeah, I mean, you could, you could, you could have your head cannons and stuff, but nobody well, really wants... Like, I imagine... People who are into that don't really want to do that. I actually And think... I like that. I just enjoy mm. the fact that that can exist. An authority that people all agree on like yes we'll we'll stick to this so that if we talk in elvish we know exactly what the other person is saying all the time in fact everyone should speak in elvish it's really funny actually if we, we start using it we'll just face the same problems we have with english yeah, now no, things no. Uh, yeah, hippo, 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 I, I, hippo. Uh, see, see, secret 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 uh club uh like little brother um <laughs> Languages yeah. where you like I instead of saying hello, I'm gonna say Google and and, and and you know secret languages like that between two people are the tightest form of communication. I, mm -hmm. I, I will always prefer that to like speaking <laughs> real. Although the reason why Elvish doesn't change isn't because of like fandoms. 
I think we have experience enough with fandoms to know they miss the point of the work. It's the fact that no one is a like resident of um, Elf Elfland, right? So like no one fucking is actively like it's not their primary language. No one like lives a society of Elvish. You only do it in the form the of language. studying. There's no so people I to evolve with. Right, so I think the reason why Elvish doesn't change is for the same reason, like, I guess Greek probably doesn't change anymore, because no one actually, like, uses it like a real language, they just use it as a thing they've studied. Wait, besides the country of Greeks. Greeks. The Greeks do. Yeah, oh, the Latin. world country like, of Greece. Latin. Latin is a dead language. So La Latin. Latin, there we go, yeah, that one, that yeah, fucking yeah. one, yeah. Let's all speak that, Latin. That, that's an issue with language, though, it's brought up. How, you know, the, the Bible's written exclusively in Latin in the olden days, and so the poor, you know, the poor baby bitch fuckers couldn't actually read the Bible. They didn't know what the fuck was going on. That's mm -hmm. a problem. You used to subjugate people. Fucking LOL. Haha, -ha, I did it. I'm the anti language person. Okay, I have, I have, have a statement, myself. and I want to see if everyone agrees. Okay, mm -hmm. we have language, it's not perfect. False. <laughs> no, no. We have language. It's not perfect. If there were better alternatives, that would be nice. But there aren't mm -hmm. any. So what we currently have is better than nothing. Yeah. Could yes. there? Agree. Uh, well, I think Nate was like Indeed. going on this. Like maybe there could. Like could we work towards like Starfleet? We should Starfleet yeah, well, that, that, that's, work yeah, that's part of my statement. A, a if version. there if there was a better version, mm. that would be nice. Oh, actually, I do know a thing about this. I remember reading like an article. I read the actual article. Well, okay, I skimmed it, and it yeah, was about how like, oh. <laughs> oh man, wouldn't it be cool if we, instead of like all these really messy languages with all these inconsistencies, you know? Because like even if you go to like. You know, Japanese or Korean, where it's like, hey, there's no pronunciation bullshit. Then it's like, oh, you know, Japanese, here's all this kanji bullshit, right? So it's like, what if Korean's we made a language... Korean's God, though. Korean's good. What if we made up a language that was, like, just technical and accurate and clean with no bullshit? And someone, like, did a study of this. They, like, had, like, um, computers algorithmically, like, generate some languages and then had people, like, practice with them. The point is what they found, and I don't know how tested this was yet, but humans actually only really get a grip on bullshit languages because our brains are themselves a bullshit mishmash pish posh of billions of years of evolution. So, like, we don't actually, we don't actually ever think as cleanly as robots ever will. Uh, because we're sure, just a fucking sure. mess. We're a fucking mess. Genetically. You know what the future is? The future is like Isaac Asimov, where all the kids don't learn English, they just learn programming language, and everyone has a programming job, because that's the only thing humans are useful for. Even, eventually that would be useful. The robots. That's sad. We'll have robots be able to do that before it too was, long, It too. was really sad when I first read it, but it's, uh, I, I kind of, I think it's, 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 it's kind of cool. Oh, it's kind of cool I like... how that guy that from so long ago had that idea. Yeah, <laughs> but I like, I like language because, like, I'm specifically English because of how silly it can get. I like the stupid, oh, whoa, and verb, and doggo, and shit like that. I love it. It's, it's great. <laughs> I, It'd be this sad. Be It'd be sad to see it go. Yeah. This will be an extremely <laughs> unpopular oh, well, opinion, and I will my... be... I, I, I will... No, go, go ahead. Sorry, I was stretching while talking. <laughs> I, will be, I will be berated, both in the, comments, uh, in the comments and right now. But isn't the sort of uncertainty of language kind of romantic? Isn't, isn't it kind of neat to be able to write it, down something I mean, in that's a novel what... and have it be interpreted in different ways? That's like why... I think it's, it's, I think it's good for like having a friend and chumming out and like making a yeah. funny joke. But yeah. when it comes to politics, I feel like people should talk in bleeps and bloops. It gives rise to, like, <laughs> yeah, poetry yeah. and puns and, and, you know, cute shit I'm like that. I'm, I'm perfectly art. willing to accept the artistic merit of language. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, yeah. It's language is both an art and a science, depending on how it's being used. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It, it, it's funny, though. Like, if we, we're used to it like this, like, things that are serious being used with words that can also be used to make art... But, like, um, imagine if, like, politics was done with drawings instead of, you know... <laughs> Sorry, like just if you, imagine if you politicians had your... finger painting. <laughs> yeah, polit finger painting, having, it, having the deviant That's art being me, instead of, like, I Donald have. Trump's Twitter. It would be, like, it would be his deviant art, and people... Uh, oh, say, I just, oh, have just to do, like, Donald Trump just made dance. another Muro. Trump just made another Muro, everyone. Check it out. That's he why he tries. wants to make the wall, so he can put his Muro somewhere. <laughs> Politics does definitely need to be a much more visual medium than it is. I remember back in like 20 fucking 12, like Mitt Romney was all like, oh man, there's been less oil drilling, less American energy than Obama's like, oh, it was actually 45% up the previous. No, it was like 25% down the previous year of the government grants. Well, the government grants went up, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, all right, guys, you bitches need to like have a fucking easel and show us some fucking charts, please. You, you I know, can't you hold know, here's all these where. Words in my head at once. 
here's where I will spiral into absolute madness that I deserve to be criticized oh for. But it's God. like it's like beyond language. I get frustrated with with facts. And it, it's, yeah. It's, it's in, it's, I, yeah, it, it's in the I've sense that I've had enough of these facts. I've had them out of here. But, but the, the no, problem is, just like with language, going and I agree with this. I think. Yeah, I know. I know. It's, it's that about, yeah. yeah, like with this Mitt Romney example, like Mitt Ro- like who knows who's like when Mitt Romney said a fact. I'm sure that fact was true. Then Obama raises more facts that contextualize. But it is entirely possible that there are yet facts beyond yeah. that that further contextualize. Oh, yeah, that, that's why and, I don't. That's why I don't yeah, research you know. things. You know, it's just like, you know what? I don't... <laughs> so, like, how, no, what are we it's... expected to do? No. do we, I, that's why, like, I want to know literally every fact to, to make <laughs> right. an opinion. We're, literally I can't. We're talking about cherry-picking facts, 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 where you present facts, a fact really. that sounds good without its broader context I mean, to give the, it more the problem meaning. Is, the problem is, to me, like, you've got wings, guys on, like, the left wing and the right wing. And, like, if you just see a fact tweeted by, like, whatever you know, journalist or whatever that's, like, in your team, you can read that. Then the opposition will say, well, you didn't contextualize it, blah, blah, blah. But then, and then, like, a person by doing this, like, first-level fact check will feel satisfied. But it's entirely right. possible that there's an infinite spiral of yet further fact checking that need to happen. That's because life is complicated, yeah. You, and if you yeah. want to be informed, yeah. you have to be the guy that's like, ah, I guess I'm just going to have to do hours. a deep dive on every yeah. tweet yeah. ever I, tweeted. Right. Yeah, it you paralyzes really me. Like, you have to basically, yep. like, check up facts as a lifestyle to where you get an intuitive sense of it that's the only way to do it that really is and you know guys this is where this is i mean it's similar to just my personal frustration you know you can feel free to disagree as you have but it's just like that's why when someone like says a sentence like that like for when you like make a tweet like i feel frustration with this like it it, i can try to make it seem like what i wanted to and I, i know that like twitter is limited as opposed to like writing a blog post or whatever but it's just like i just want to communicate literally every fact about this thing i'm trying to say and i feel a deep frustration that it's so hard to do that and you know i know language is a ton of great clarification stuff, but i just make oh it me kills me piss myself <laughs> <laughs> but it's like oh no no you don't understand like i was actually at the urinal and there were just a couple drops so it's not that big a deal guys I, like technically yes i did piss myself uh and also i was spooked <laughs> by i was spooked by a clown so it wasn't even my fault like this is there's yet further <laughs> context beyond this and we can go all day and i was at a clown rodeo as a matter of fact so like maybe i should have been prepared so maybe i'm actually the, in the wrong here the you know we can go all day we can go the all problem day. with language is like the problem with all things clowns mm. over the abundance <laughs> of clowns makes us all piss ourselves and language is ruined forever at the sight of oh, one juggalo no. <laughs> yeah well i'm glad uh <laughs> We, we went through with this exercise. Uh, I guess, do we have final points here? You want to uh, wrap up here? What language you guys want to learn? I want to learn, I like English. I want to learn American Sign Language. I, I want to learn mm. Arabic. I think that would be really funny. More like Arab dick. A- Arabic yeah. looks really nice. I like Arabic. I like, I like, I like the way it's all yeah. swooshy and swooshy. It looks like intimidating to learn. Yeah. It, it probably isn't. They probably got, less that's like looks, that's you know. from the early that's the, the that part of the world is like mm, where the first mm. languages even came out of the ground. Well, it's a different I language give, family than English. I mean, the Arabic yeah. numbering yeah. system was pretty good, so I, I'd hope their actual language. Holds is that what up. we use? Is that yes. what we yeah, use? One, two, three, four, yeah. five. Yeah, 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 that's right. That's Arabic. Way to go, guys! Did they invent the zero over there too? Uh, Thanks, guys. Uh, I, 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 Very I, I think it was India actually. I think I think oh, was it was zero. Oh, okay. Thanks, some, India. Some fucked up freak. <laughs> uh, I, as I'm sure everyone knows, I, I wish to continue learning Japanese, specifically for just practical and artistic reasons, because I think it's cool. Yeah, same here, yeah. Nate. I just, I just, I just want to mm-hmm. be able to listen to anime while I'm doing other shit. Same. That same. would be great. I also want to learn would Esperanto be for the reason, because some just of the reasons we talked dub. about here, having that universal language. Yeah, that would I think be nice everyone as well. should learn it. Everyone <laughs> should learn it. It'd be great. I dab on dubs that's what i have to say to that <laughs> ben you didn't talk about how cool big words are with me oh uh wait i thought you were saying that you liked the rare words because i prefer, <laughs> I, I prefer I like a rare both. word to a big word well okay I, I i agree that rare words are better but big words are also nice you, like, like i feel like they're most of the time they're in tandem like most of the time the reason words are rare is because they're big and no one wants to say them and yeah. that just well, makes, you like, like flexing like, your vocabulary every exactly, now and then you know exactly i, mean, I love it it makes me feel smart there's nothing wrong with flexing but 
guys. I think better than better than using a big word or a rare word. The best thing is when you use is when you need like an unusual word for like to express something nuanced, and then you <laughs> fucking have it and you pull it out yeah. at just the right second. Sure. And you express yeah. something so so nuanced and so so subtle, and, and, and <laughs> that everyone is just blown away. Your by vocabulary it. is fucking yeah. Right now. That is satisfying. Vocabulary is great. Uh, I, b- back in like sixth grade, there was like a vocabulary word of the day, and uh, you know it would teach you shit like "fay" or you know whatever the hell basic bitch shit. Nice. I wish there was just like was mandatory. mage. There was an opening. You can just jump in. Just jump in there, mage. Go. I, what I is said it? What earlier. Is it? What do you know? What a sesquipedalian is? No. What? Equestria daily? No, sesquipedalian. <laughs> Sesquid. I, I do not. Your, no. your vocabulary eclipses. Is that mine. a flower? No. Daily and daily. What, what is it? Well, look it up. I don't know how what to spell type that. that. <laughs> S- well, anyway, I'm saying S- that there should be vocabulary P- words of S- the day for everyone Q- forever. U I P E D A L A. It means gay. No. Mage is calling us all gay. No. How rude. No, I called you weenies at the beginning. Sesquidedalian, spelled F A G G O T. Look it up, everybody. You might, you might enjoy that. Hey Nate, can you spell I real quick? I'm doing an exam. I'm doing a spelling test right now, and I was wondering if you could. I, uh, I don't want to be bullied. I won't do it. I won't suffer. Vocabulary is good, kids. Check it out yeah. someday. Words are cool. Words Let me. Are cool. Hey, have I have I talked about this before? I think this is the time. Uh, there's mm. a part. There's a part in the book The Plague by Albert Camus, where mm. um the the main character he goes to like hang out with this with this guy that he knows, and the guy kind of he kind of they kind of open up and become a little friendly, and he he the guy finally decides to share with him this thing that he's been working on that he's kind of doesn't want usually talk about, but he's like okay I'll show you I'll show you because you're my buddy, uh, and he like and he and he brings it out and what it is is this thing that he's been working on for like years is mm. he has been polishing one sentence. To be the ultimate sentence, like the most beautifully Whoa. poetic <laughs> sentence in the French language, uh, and it's um, your mom gay. It's Le a, dank memes. Okay, well, well, he, okay, he, yeah, he yeah. like he he revises it a couple of times, so I'm not sure mm-hmm, if this is mm-hmm. the original, but it doesn't matter. The the, the, the okay. sentence is more or less. One fine morning in May, a slim young horsewoman might have been seen riding a glossy uh, sorrel mare along the flower-strewn avenues of the Bou de Bouillon. Oh, that's pretty good. That sounds pretty good. So pretty good. I like right? Sora, yeah, I liked it. That, so I, he did Sora it. Sort of horse boy fucking a horse. What's with the horse boy? And he boy? says, and he says that one fan? day when it's perfect, mm-hmm. he'll bring it to the publishing house and he'll show it to them, and everyone on all the publishers will stand up and say, "Gentlemen, hats off." <laughs> <laughs> hats off. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's like that uh, that Family Guy bit. It's like the the, the best joke ever, which is, uh, "Guess what? Chicken butt." That's it. The, the, uh, yeah, the perfect. Robert, you know, a Family a Guy better. is basically a modern day Albert Camus. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Here's language's fatal flaw: the word hmm. "nautical" does not mean radical. Nautical, by all rights, by its birthright, deserves to be a cinnamon for like sick or a cinnamon. cinnamon. A cinnamon, you a say? Cinnamon. How delectable! A cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it deserves to. Be, I can, it used to be like, dude, that's fucking nautical, bro. Yeah, dude, fucking is. Well, shouldn't it be, the, should, shouldn't it be the opposite it should, it should of radical? Be, yeah, like, you can be radical or you can be nautical. Nautical. Oh, yeah. No, no. Too. I think. I think. I mean, that's good, but I think it should be like reserved for when we invent underwater skateboarding. Yeah. No, oh, that's coming up rough. real quick. <laughs> like not surfboarding, underwater skateboarding, like with really heavy wheels. Yeah. Imagine grinding upon the Great Barrier Reef have really, right into a shark. You have really heavy <laughs> shoes, too. The Great Barrier Reef is, like, gone now, right? Like, it's completely dead. That's just and, like, because over. of all the grinding of the yeah! of skateboarding people are doing. Uh, we need to stop Sick. the grinding. Why don't we uh, I feel like we're out petering out here, fam. Yeah. What do you think? I, I think we're ready to move on about, to questions. I, was, I think we I, need to I close actually, out, yeah. need to okay. close out with okay. teaching everybody a new word, right? Because, I just did. It's Piquidalian. No, I, but that, you didn't tell us what that's, it means. Though. That's well, cute. Look it no, up. Just it's anything. Homework. That's 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 cute, no okay, mage. But okay. let's let's talk about a, a really important word that Nate taught us uh, before the podcast began. It's Alexa. Gamergate. Alexa on yeah. Earth. Yeah. Alexa. Yeah. <laughs> Commanding yep, a person yep. like you would command an Amazon Alexa. Kid one. Mom, stop. And mom <laughs> did stop talking. Kid two. Wow, mom. He just Alexa'd you. 
Truly, well, language is evolving in a beautiful way. That, hosted that's my by point. nuclear gaming. Just you know, nuclear <laughs> yes, gaming. You know that? Also, there was a, a gif of uh, uh, Ed Sheeran under that definition. I don't know why, but it was there. And <laughs> we all have to he... live with that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, so I feel I, Alexa yeah. to getting to the <laughs> goddamn time time to move on. To I was quest. planning. I actually like yeah, signed yeah. up onto this episode so that I could talk about like free speech and where those where people draw the line between free speech where you can have uh, and how it relates oh, to see. words. So we'll save that for another episode. Free speech, guys. That'll be a PCP episode at some point. That's a good idea. I okay. like doing that. We should actually write that would be down. a good idea. Yeah. yeah, add it to the list. Uh, I actually did while we were while, while Nate was going off his five hour inane whether or not words are perfect. Thank God Man, something you're just mad because I'm literally Starfleet. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me go. Okay, go on, go on. Guys, majuscule. That's yeah, what's the that? word I'm bringing to the table? Mm. Magikarp. <coughs> uh, try try and figure it out. Majuscule. What do you Magiscule. think? Majuscule. It's like minuscule, only a magic version of being minuscule. You know. Uh, like very that. close. It's the opposite of minuscule. Yeah. Okay. So it's big. In, instead of saying capital letters, you could say majuscule. Letters. So yeah. when, when are we going to get some majuscule reviews on Hypocrite? Yeah. <laughs> what, 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 what is, that's what is, fucking sick. What is something I should definitely do that. That's now. a great idea. And what is something that's big other than something that's small that's magical? That, Rayman that's two, big. everyone. Rayman two coming up next. Video. <laughs> Well gone, nobody, the magic skew, nobody bus. Nobody cares about yeah. Rayman 2 except for you. No! When's Rayman 2? They're <laughs> cheering! They're jeering! They're clamoring for a hippo outside of my window. There's just a crowd full of people demanding <laughs> Red God damn. Yeah, I like mean Rayman 2. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude. Okay. All right. That's We're good. done. We're All done. Right. We've had we a lot it. of fun here today, but it's time <laughs> to get to... serious. Yeah, it's time to <laughs> come to a close. Now, uh, hey. It's time to nut up or shut up. But before yeah. we get to questions, me and you, Nate, have follow-up mm. that we need to settle. That's right, everybody. If you, if you listen to last week's episode, Munchie and I made a sacred pact where we both agreed that we would be uh, uh, healthy boys in, in different ways and made some, some health resolutions. So mm -hmm. let's, let's lay our cards on the table. Munchie, what was your thing and how'd it go? My resolution was that I would not drink a single carbonated drink because I've been drinking too much mm. energy drinks. And I'm happy to announce that I have not drinking a single carbonated drink since that recording until now. Oh! oh! Look at Munchie what a, go! What a shame. Uh, He's doing there he is. so well. Well, you know what? There's nothing wrong with taking a cheat day, you know, or a cheat meal. Well, how, I, wait, wait, Munchie, how's it, how's it taste? Uh, it feels so fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he's a, he's a lost cause. Yeah. He's I, a lost uh, cause. Uh, so, so to check in, congratulations, Munchie. You've earned it. You've earned that. Uh, uh, so my uh, thing was I swore off sugar, and it's kind of hard to avoid sugar just forever. So what I defined that as was I defined it like sh anything with additional sugar added to it. Yeah, I don't know if I agree things... with that definition of sugar. I think we're going to Well, have I to... mean like uh, I, I like <laughs> I want to have to be able to eat like connected a fruit. language here to get to consensus on what sugar means. Well, I I mean there there is no consensus. It's I make the rules and uh, this is what they were. <laughs> to so... me sugar is sexist language and I should I, I should never <laughs> say it. <laughs> so, uh here's how it went. It went great. Uh, until Thursday, oh, yeah. and yep, yep. and he, uh, here's and then, what happened. Here's what happened. I was at the grocery store. I was buying, you know, you a bag nutritious of sugar, food you ate it right with no there. sugar. <laughs> and I, I simply walked by. I, my, my mind was absent. My, my balls were empty. And I, I walk by a uh, like a free display giving away little donut pieces, and oh, right next to no. one giving away little cookie pieces. And I just, I just don't even think. I just say, oh. Cool, free, and I just I take I bite a I take a <laughs> piece and I eat it. That capitalism just over overwhelmed yeah. everything. And, the, and next to and then I, I take a cookie. There was these little like cranberry cookies, and I just eat that. I continue on my way, don't even think of it. And then I realize, like a fucking shock from God. Oh God! I realize I've what done I have this. done. I've done what this I have before. Done. It is the worst. I almost it, did this too. It's funny that like you guys yeah, did like a a, yeah. a a diet thing or like like a good boy thing because I've been doing a good mm -hmm. boy thing for the last week oh, yeah? as well. I've, yeah, I've, yeah. I've restarted doing intermittent fasting because I really? enjoy doing it a lot, yes. Aren't you skinny enough, dude? <laughs> no, no. I have to lose at least... I'm like 220 pounds, dude. It's disgusting. Um, 220 pounds? Oh, I, wow, okay. I know, okay. You're also like six foot two, so... It yeah, that, that doesn't... Oh, that's not even... Yeah, you, that's true. I forgot. The I forgot. scale doesn't care how tall you are. Um, <laughs> so so I, you just... You only eat in an eight-hour window, 
and it's mm-hmm. fast for mm-hmm. 16 hours and it's fucking great i did it for a week and i almost did that because I've, um, I've been going i've been going to the coffee it... shop and they had like little free samples okay and i almost have you been weighing one. yourself i'm um, just curious have you been weighing yourself do you, there do you have progress i have, I have my, my scale is broken but i feel okay. significantly better and, I... and that's that's enough for me that's okay good. okay so intermittent fasting sounds really great but mm. okay because like i'm never hungry when i wake up in the morning like i don't want to eat until later in the day mm. yeah but isn't that like what they say not to do? Don't they say to like space your calories out over the day or something? Oh, uh, well, do something uh, your metabolism. Usually, they mm. also suggest to not eat like two or three hours before going to bed or something like that. Okay, that is commonly suggested. The, the, that's, the, true. The, the, that's true. The science behind, uh, quote unquote, the science behind this. Yeah, is, this is all is kind of like, bullshit. But it's like you have there's like a uh, your when you start your like metabolic whatever like when you start digesting things. Like it mm-hmm, goes mm-hmm. for like I think like like ten to twelve hours and then it stops and anything you eat after that like doesn't get properly metabolized or something. So mm. like you're you're designed I guess designed not to do that. So I'm just eating in an eight hour window to make sure that that doesn't happen. I guess I don't know. I've had I guess that makes sense. I've done it before. Like, I couldn't hunt and I lost a fuck ton of weight just time. doing it. So I mean, I'm doing yeah, okay. it again because it worked what for me. What was last week's topic that you guys were like? doing good boy things i wasn't drugs. on last week so i was no... drugs oh, okay yeah. yeah i guess i guess <laughs> that boys. would be that would we, be the we, topic we had to we so, had to, to, de- to we had to detox relief. after that podcast <laughs> yeah 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 that's I'm, right that's i'm right. so glad i wasn't part of that podcast because this week has been very fun for me in terms of eating food and today i've been eating nothing but cake so because it's my cake day <laughs> what the fuck? yes oh, mate. it is uh, uh but by the way just Happy this is continuing day, going forward I've made a resolution. I, I'm just okay. I'm giving up additional sugar just forever. I'm just I mean you know one day I'll probably go back on that, but just for the future, I'm not putting sugar in anything. I'm not eating cake. I'm not eating anything that has sugar added to it. I'm Good. like the, the the biggest thing I might do is I might indulge in a glass of fruit juice. I may do that because that's not that's not like additional sugar. It's just the fruit. Do but wa- I'm gonna try to stay away te- from it. Wash your teeth though. Uh, juice is bad for your teeth. Uh, uh, fair point. As is coffee, which I. Have been drinking and I wanted yeah, to get away from it. You, but anyway, you just can, an update, you can just everybody. like brush your teeth an hour after you consume something sugary. And by the way, since I'm doing this anyway, I'll check in, everybody. I'll let you know how the sugar thing's going. If I fail, I'll let you know. I'll okay. let you know. We'll I, I would throw my hand into the ring, but honestly, my life is just worse not drinking carbonated drinks, so I'm not going I'm, to do it. Like my hero Thanos, I'm willing to take personal sacrifices to achieve the greater good. <laughs> I, as soon as I watch Infinity War, I'm like, "This is Nate's OC." Like, it's Nate. It's not Nate. Even. Yeah, yeah. Like, like it's, he's, I, the whole th- like, halfway through the movie, I was just like, "I was like, Thanos is." All right, Thanos, is, Thanos is my headmate. He's my headmate. No, but, right, no more Infinity War. No more. Wait, he's right. I was. I'm good too. I want to say I'm a good boy. I started tracking oh, yeah? my calories again. Yay. Oh, fantastic. Yes. Fantastic. I, I fell off be doing the wagon there, but I'm back. Great. Uh, then what is I've the beard started situation? crack cocaine. Yeah, poor. <laughs> oh yeah. Are, are are you are you working out, Ben? Are you lifting? I I did a, a bit ago start again and then I stopped mm-hmm. again, but I, I mean to start again and I feel like I've still got a little bit of that momentum. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so I I did for a second, but I didn't Why keep does up with it. Working out sucks so bad. Uh, it feels good. Actually, Actually you know, what? I'll do that today. I will do that after the podcast because fantastic, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. I've been personally, I've been adding running to my lifts uh, to my exercise. Feels great, but whatever. Let's let's move on. B- 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 ben, w- w- hold on. What is the pulling out your beard hair about? Like, I've never done that before in my life. What? What's why? Oh God, do we have to talk about this? It's embarrassing. <laughs> oh, is, is if it you embarrassing? don't want to. You yeah, I fucking to. yeah. I have like a nervous. I have like a nervous tick that I fucking pull my hair out. <laughs> I have a <laughs> worse nervous tick. Yeah, I saw this. Want to make feel better? My nervous yeah. tick is I I bite the shit out of my lips until they bleed. Oh. My, nervous tick, my nervous tick is I scratch my face off. Yeah. Uh, my, my nervous tick is that there's a tick who lives in my head who's just very <laughs> anxious about that, life. That, that just, explains oh, a lot actually, about it. Oh, oh, I, 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 I have a very Tom. mild nervous tick, which is that I grind. I, my I do that too, but funny. Yeah, hippo. What I do is I hippo. Grind my index wait, wait, wait! Let Tavu say. Let Tavu say. I grind my index finger into my thumb on my right hand. And if you do okay. it for only like a minute, it creates a little groove. So even though I was only nervous for a minute, I now have a uh, like a bubble wrap mm. popping tick to keep grinding into it, ah. and making it worse. Right? Oh, yeah. ah. Hippo, <laughs> hippo. The, like if the hair does grow back, but like if it gets bad, and it does a lot <laughs> uh, lately, um, <laughs> I will, I will, I will pick like a small patch, or even sometimes like a really big patch. Like, like it has happened before that I have picked off like. A large portion of my face has been like plucked free of beard hair due nice. to my fucking <laughs> brain Keep your problems. Hands busy, ben. Well, 
Easier said yeah. than done. Wrap around I know, I know, oh, but yeah. like, you just get into the habit. <laughs> <laughs> your hands can't sin against your face if they're wrapped around your cock. But it, it does grow back, but if I do it, if I do it too much of it too fast, it will leave like a, a, a bear patch, and then I'm like, well, I can't fucking walk around like this, and then I have to shave my beard, because... Ben, it, you don't go it, anywhere. What does it matter? Well, it just makes me sad all yeah. alone. <laughs> you should wear a coat for your beard. Tom, um, I, I bite the inside of my mouth all the time, and I'm, my, my, and I'm constantly tasting blood, basically. Oh, God. Dude, that would That's drive rough. me crazy. It's rough. Yeah. Uh, no. I, I bite my nails. I bite my nails. It's pretty bad. Oh, yep, Sometimes it gets oh, bad. No. Shall we get to Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Let's. Yeah, let's, let's. Hey, Don't uh, there, bite hey, your everybody. nails. It's very I, bad for you. In you many you couldn't ways. be more right. You couldn't be more right. I wish I stopped. <laughs> so, hey, everybody. Put on gloves. Uh, uh, yeah, but I'm not... Michael Jackson of two hands. Uh, that's it. That's my excuse. Listen, everybody. Hashtag AskPCP. Uh, Twitter, at TPCrastinators. Here's some. Also, in the patron Discord, $1 pledge to our fucking Patreon. You're in there, and we'll read more questions. Here's the pity question. And we don't need to spend a lot of time with this, because I'm looking. There are, like, no good questions. But here's the, here's the one that's, like, sort of good. You're all going to hate me, but I'm going to read it anyway. Aww. At Chemotherapy just asks, if giving up a year of your life... Advanced human progress by 50 years. How many years are you willing to give up zero. to get closer to those advantage you're waiting for? And what are they? Well, well that, zero unless I thought that, like, within mm. a window that I could buy with that time, we would hit the singularity. That's the one. That's the thing that's, yeah. uh, that's uh, the crucial My question here. is, do we advance instantaneously? Like, would I be living in a society 50 years more advanced by giving up a year of my life? Or would yeah. it just happen somewhere down the road? Because if I don't get to experience it, everyone can get fucked. But if I, if, it, if I can like, give up a decade and get a robot body instantly, therefore living forever, it sounds like a fair trade. Yeah, I mean, I'd do that. Yeah, I'd do that. If, I guess if, the question if, is, do we think we're going to hit the singularity within, like, I don't know, let's say we all have, like, 50 it, years left. So, like, within yeah. 2,500 years, will we hit the singularity? I, hmm, I will give when. up one year if the advancement of humans by 50 years destroys hypothetical questions. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on. I, you know, even, even if the I singularity... I don't like them so you much. You and Digi. You and Digi are... I, I, I have a I have an ethical problem with people that don't hmm. like hypothetical questions. I don't well, like hypothetical questions. These, are, so, these hypothetical. are Socratic <clears throat> exercises. Well, Disliking yeah, right, of yeah. hypothetical the, the, questions the, the, the is just evidence of a small mind. The thing about oh, this particular one shit. is it's just like, uh, here's some numbers. Which number? Like, no, it like, isn't. It uh, makes yeah. you fucking think. It makes you fucking like, question I don't your value. I'm not thinking. I, I don't ahead. like certain types of hypothetical don't. questions. I like the ones that like give you really bad options and then like makes you mentally suffer for them. I hate yeah, those. Yeah, no, this, this I like, I like the ones that me. makes you think, like, this one I, is fine, but the ones is like, oh, well, you, would you kill one baby, or would you kill, like, dude, three babies? Like, uh, I'd definitely <laughs> kill three, unless <laughs> we have the bad babies. <laughs> uh, progress Here's a hypothetical. I like, I like that like, one, that's funny. Once, there's, like, like, what does <laughs> it mean for it to it. progress by 50 years? This isn't years, vague at all. Like... God damn. Yeah, this isn't This isn't very vague. Uh, here's a hypothetical. What if, like, the Simpsons were, like, in Undertale, oh, yeah. though? Like, crazy. What if? Well, well, Nate, well, Nate, Frisk does have... Have yellow one. skin, so perhaps that's not as far fetched. <laughs> oh my as you god, think. Oh. We're, oh. we're in Undertale, Whoa. Homer. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get I out mean, of like, here. Back to the original hypothetical question: like, okay. if if let's say I give up a year, uh, right, and like I see the advancement mm-hmm. happening like immediately, and would I still have the option to give up one more year after I see what's happened? Within those fifty years, that is a good question. Uh, I don't fucking know. That's, that's, well, that actually say, does make a big difference. Yeah, because let's say like, if like, I could is this see a one-time what's transaction? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is this is the reason. This is the reason why I don't like hypothetical Wait, questions. Yeah, at, least, at least I, of this kind. Uh, it's it's that sometimes the the, the question becomes like if you're not with the person who hmm. made the question, you can't clarify, and then you are just the, the 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 discussion is about. I wonder what this question actually means. Yeah, I mean, well, you know, sure. I, I think I may actually just straight up heard the question wrong. Uh, what exactly was the question? Could you just it's, re- if giving up a year of your life, advanced human progress by fifty years, how many years would you give up? Yeah, that's too vague. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I insist that that is way too vague. Like, uh, you guys, oh, what? you guys, we're all boring. Let's get on to the other questions. Other yeah, questions. This is a significantly fucking... less boring than oh, whatever. It's fun so, to think about, though. I, I, no. I agree. I agree. So, uh, anybody fucking looking at the goddamn question I'm, bar? I'm I have... looking at it. It's, okay, what, what do you got for us? What terrifying. do you got for us? Are we looking no. at the lounge? I, I have, I, I'm looking at it. I don't fucking have anything. Are you joking me? It's all shit. Here's a question. Is it Mage's birthday today or does she just really like cake? Both. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, that's good. That's good. 
I just substituted uh, the word birthday for cake day because it's more fun that way. <laughs> um, okay, I'm just like looking for questions. Mm. Someone asked me, uh, Kajaro yeah. Bitterthorn said, if you suddenly acquired a shit ton of money, what would be the one ridiculously indulgent thing you'd want to do? Uh, mm. I would want a house. <laughs> I need a place to live. <laughs> indulgent. Fuck, dude? Indulgent. Uh, uh, be happy with your, your, your living cube, as is, is dispensed by the state. Your three by three foot. <laughs> God, I you wish, don't, you don't I, get wish I could have a three by three living cube given me by the state. That's <laughs> all I need. As a I wouldn't even complain. Yeah, yeah actually, same, yeah. same. Uh, but as a millennial, you don't get a house, you get obviously avocado toast instead oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. much like you get how... burger king foot lettuce and nothing else oh. much oh. like how G uh, uh, gen z's me are post job millennials are post house they do not they don't have need for house i don't even anymore. want one. i would totally live you in know a cube. what I, I don't see any good questions so it's time to bring back the hashtag pcp bullying segment so here we go with uh kajoro bitterthorn asked this terrible question <laughs> if all the members of the pcp had a future diary style battle royale who what would be the, the last fuck? one standing and who would what would your wish be i, I don't know uh, person who, who wouldn't be, be standing is fucking you because we would all gig up on you and fucking kill you you piece of shit <laughs> <laughs> <Die>! <laughs> agreed i'll, I'll give it like <laughs> I don't know who would win, but I know who would win. But lose. like, like, like the, the future diary was like because mm -hmm. the world was ending, they needed a new god. So like, if none of oh. us did anything, the world would just end. And I let it I, burn. Let it burn. Every, with, with, who wants to want live that? in a world with questions like these? <laughs> if Nate Bestman found a journal that when he wrote down the name of any person on Earth, they died instantly, what he well, would he do with it? That has to be a Dude, joke. That has to got, be intentionally bad. I gotta write a manga bad. about that concept there's concept. no way that fucking uh there's no way hey. that that guy who got that fucking book could make nearly as much of a clusterfuck as the utilitarianist machinations of best guy ever with yeah guys. yeah you're, like, you ain't wrong hey here, here's here, a question here, here. that's not inherently shit kind of uh night shift clint asks is all porn cuckery now hang on you are pleasuring yourself to something slash someone you want to fuck or get fucked by being fucked or getting fucked by something else. Yeah. What do you think? That, that, that assumes think. things about the porn that you watch. I think yes. Oh, well. No, I mean, you're just watching other people fuck and it's if, not you. So, th th you know. Th th there, there's porn that is not two people. Uh, oh, well, I, I mean, that's, that true. Is, that's true. That is well, true. Well, still, you're people. watching something desirable and not participating in it yourself. I, but uh, you know what? It's really, it's really like if you're a real cuck in real life, like which again, there, there is no like act like it's 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 fine if like you do that. Can I? But like can I you, jump you off enjoy this for a second. not being involved. Do you, like, do you? I would prefer to be involved in porn. You know, like physically. Like this it would is something be, I've like, thought cool. about. Do you think that yeah. cuckolding became a thing because like everyone just watches porn so much now? Hmm. Yeah, I've yeah, always thought actually. actually I've always thought the know, rise like, of cuckolding is a result of huh. people. Um, this is actually like, really Lots surprising of to me. Emojis right I can't now. believe this <laughs> that someone just casually dropped like an existential, like total actual accuracy bomb like that. But I think I'm gonna yeah. go with yeah, like <laughs> well, because I don't I, know because now I'm thinking about it because I'm not into cooking, but I'm thinking I feel like I can possibly empathize with it a lot better now because it's like the idea is if you are not part of the you know if you're just watching it, you're just you're you're not really there. You have no accountability, you no responsibility, nothing you can do wrong. You can just project yourself on completely guilt-free and that's kind of like why porn is a lot I, easier than like actual sex you know you don't have to like worry about I anything feel like I'm sure. cuckold and just makes I, I me feel sad like, the, 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 like down to my core i mean I hate sure it. i feel it like the appeal would be mm -hmm. would be slightly different like if if it was like a like live action and then the girl says haha you're not doing it <laughs> and then the person yeah. watching the screen is like damn yeah that's real like, cuckoldry that's real but, but but then if you're like if, if you're it's looking playing at a to picture, that aspect if it's a mm -hmm. picture then you couldn't possibly be there and because they don't exist. Yeah. So it's slightly different. Uh, I, you know, I don't think they're like one and the same. There might be a thread of connection, possibly, but I mean, I don't think they're. I, like you know, I have thing. felt this way. I have, I have gone down this rabbit hole before and been like, okay, I'm watching this thing that I like, mm. um, but it's not me. And I've gotten a little annoyed about it. Like, damn it, why am I enjoying this? Like, this is, this is, <laughs> this is just, this is what they want from me. Like, they tricked me. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like the porn. Damn it. Yeah. They've, they've won. They've like, won they went and did Boner. something good, something cool, and I am over here, mm. like, what? Appreciating them for that? Fuck that. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, there's, an, like, for example, you know, like, video games are, like, achievement simulators that yeah. you're not actually, like, so, like, in the same way, you're kind of, like, a cuck to, like, success of other people 
in a way. Though I guess yeah. you are like playing the game, but you know, it's a little different, I guess. You right now, viewer, are a cuck because you are not debating with the legendary best guy ever. You are living <laughs> vicariously through the other podcast members. You are yeah. a cuck right now. Kill yourself. <laughs> All the rest of us are such relatable characters. <laughs> Indeed. And Nate is me. just such a such a such a hateable right. villain. He's, so. a jugger, he's a juggernaut of industry. <laughs> Here, here's a question by my cool man from the Patreon hmm. Lounge. When hmm. is the right age to have children? I also want to open this up to when's the right age to get married? Because this Never. is a this Uh-oh. is a thing that's that's come up think. a lot with the PCP. Woke, mage. Yeah. As we uh, all know. Well, okay. I think. Oh, yeah, go on, go on, Gib. Go ahead, go ahead. I, I think the right age to have children is whenever you're ready, but, yeah, like, um, yeah. to, to, I think having it too young will. Like, if you have it in your early 20s or mid 20s, that's. A lot of people did do that, mm-hmm. but, uh, they, uh, they. I mean, I can't assume how they feel about it, mm-hmm. but I. I don't think they would have, like, some people may not have liked it. I guess it depends on what I, you want out of life. Have yeah. kids when you would like it. I suggest you finish when education you've... just just in case. And have sure. kids when sure. you figure out all the basic things in your life and you are no longer feeling yeah. challenged, then mm-hmm. do it. Don't have kids because your parents want grandkids. Oh, that's yeah. The main Fuck thing. Well, sure. That, and that's don't do definitely, you gotta you be financially stable. Either. Don't let yeah, the one sure, of a baby sure. be the thing that makes you have the baby. Make it that mm-hmm. you've you've basically you can go through your life day <laughs> and be like, "Wow, I didn't like freak out or emotionally melt down over anything, and I have enough money to be stable." Wow, it's a little bit boring. Wait for when you're you know, a little bit bored, not out of like depression boredom, but like out of the, complacency boredom. You know, then have kids. Then you'll actually love your children for like genuinely, yeah. and not like the sort of passive aggressive love that most parents give them. Like, oh man, it sure is great taking care of you and not having a life. <laughs> yeah, like because the yeah, way I sort yeah. of see having a child is like your life ends there, and like now you're solely dedicated to making that child be successful. It There's is. been a, a rise of the argument that, like, immoral it, it is literally immoral to have kids. And, like, I, I, I understand the argument there. It's that, immoral like, to have kids bringing someone into the world against, you know, they can't consent to being bored. I mean, that's true. And there will be some suffering in life. And so, like, I could see why people make that argument. But, like, I, if, if you're trying to give your kid the best chance possible, then I personally would argue that, that, that that's a pretty pessimistic view. I, feel, I think there's good to be like had. I feel like the sort of person well, it's pessimistic, who but it doesn't make it having wrong. children No, is I'm not saying it's wrong. Is um, kind of strange. Well, hang on, Ben. Are you arguing? Well, what, what do you think about that argument? Well, uh, uh, hmm? that's... I mean, it's tough. I, don't, I know it's a complicated thing. Yeah, I'm, well... Yeah. I think I don't think it's immoral. I don't think mm-hmm. it's immoral to create a life. No. Um, uh, I get. I could see why someone would think that. If someone thinks that life mm. is suffering and terrible and not worth living, then yeah. I could see why you'd be like, "Well, why would I want to force that on someone?" Like, mm-hmm. I get mm-hmm. it. I think, I think it's immoral. I think, if you're I think not if we had like able over... to properly take care of the child. I think like if you're that's if, definitely true. If well, you're, even yeah, if you are able to properly stable. take care of them, that doesn't mean they're going to have a good time. D- no, it doesn't. Yeah, but I, whole, but that, at that point, that, it becomes uh, nebulous. But I think it's absolutely right. wrong. Okay, no, no, no. I have a child. Yeah. When you're not properly able to take care of this whole issue, mm-hmm. I remember hearing punished. this like yeah. way back. I've I've heard this on the internet forever. Like, oh man, a life mm-hmm. is suffering. Is it right to bring kids? You know, like if there was like a reverse limbo where you where you hang out before you have life, like all it would take is some propaganda. Like Pixar could have like a five minute little short animation before one of their movies, mm-hmm. which is this, right? Which is just like these little identityless souls hanging out in like pre limbo, right? And like they're all like really excited to like get a chance for life and they get, they're given warnings. It could be painful, it could be hard, but like if you're given the chance, you might be able to like live and experience things, right? And they'd be all like everybody would be fucking excited to try it out. So no, mm-hmm. I, I, I w- I'm gonna say it's immoral to have kids if you're not ready, if you're being ignorant about it. But then but that's again, not actually I how just things consi- work though. I just consider ignorance to it's be just... a bad thing in general. That's a very underrated yeah. sin. Mm. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Well. Well. Uh, about the whole. Thing. About the back to the question originally. I I do feel very yeah, yeah. strongly that there is no right age to have kids or get married or do anything. Well, right, there right. there is a certain age past which you should probably not be having kids if you're a woman due to. That uh, is technically reasons. true. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean. I mean. Uh, I don't know if do I would. You mean like I don't... you shouldn't or like you can't. Well, yeah. um, it's it becomes a lot more complicated the older you get. Like uh, there might be birth complications, and the child you birth oh, might right. not well, that, be. That's true. That's well, always a risk. 
Yeah, it's, well, yeah, yeah, it's, it's like, far no, no, I'm not saying you shouldn't. It's just like you might want to start thinking about those things. Yeah. Like, it, it, like what Mage is saying, like, just as it makes sense, like, to establish yourself financially before you have kids, it also, in the same vein, like, it is a biological fact in the current world that, like, the older a woman is, you know, like, when, when a woman's, like, 65, like, the, the likelihood of their kid, I think specifically was having Down syndrome, the percentage goes up uh, a lot. The menopause so just, starts around 40 years old, uh, I think. Oh, okay, let's well, 40, or whatever it is. So it, it's just that you're like I'm just saying it's I'm not saying it's immoral or anything. It's just like you are not inherently necessarily giving your kid the most optimum chance in the world. That's all, you know. And, well, we've all yeah. got to do the best with what we're given. Uh, yeah, I agree. I'm not saying anybody should stop. Just saying. Just saying. Yeah, yeah. I it's mean, just, it's just something to consider about your own life and stuff. I, it's a fair I, point. I, it's a fair point. I definitely agree with you, Ben. There is no real like right age to do anything but i think mm -hmm. there are certain like ages you can genuinely like say where someone will be like maturity or like you know financially or like you know well off wise yeah, yeah. Hey, i, I want to be, be stable i would say like like the golden age for both those are probably like 35 for me that's probably that's probably a nice yeah like late number yeah that's pretty late i mean for that's pretty yeah, late i don't know I mean, like, well, maybe our not for millennials. Were literally thirty-five when they had us. I mean, I the the average age is getting later. I yeah, think. yeah. Oh well. Which uh, actually, I mean, just unfortunately for men, that's perfectly fine. For women, it actually does have some ramifications. Yeah, my parents were both thirty-four actually. Um, I think our parents were in their like mid. -30s. Yeah, they were right around there. They were right yeah. around there. My yep. mom yep. was fucking forty. Baby. That's why you got that fetal alcohol syndrome. Yeah, woo! <laughs> give it up for Down syndrome, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know. I guess because I'm as you agreeing. get older, your blood just turns to alcohol. You just ferment. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. Uh, I, I'll just say that I agree that, like, getting married and having kids is basically fine. Uh, you know, biologically speaking, it makes sense to do it fairly early for a woman. Uh, and then financially, you want to be stable. Uh, that's that's really all I have to say. Uh, I, but I, I would also just say that, like, as opposed to, like, age to do it, I would, I personally just think, like, I would really want to, really want to vet the person I'm marrying before I commit my whole fucking life sure. to them, um, you know. Like, I'd give them, like, a couple years, frankly. That's, that's yeah. me. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think anyone would disagree. A couple of years. You, you, no, I think, you, no, I think you, you should probably jump into these down. things willy-nilly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> In my, my humble opinion. <laughs> Feel free to disagree. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, fuck it. Let's move on. Oh, oh there was one other question here that I, I wanted to reach. And this is uh, this goes beyond just the specifics here. It's just Stan on Wheels asks, I'm sure in <laughs> reference to the furry podcast, is Action Giraffe a fursona? And this pretends to all Obviously. animal boys, you know. No, he's not. He's a separate <laughs> entity. Yeah, Action He's a completely is separate a, entity. He is a real-life globe-trotting superstar who is a, a headmate of mine occasionally, but he just travels <laughs> rift to rift, and, you know, he's got nothing to do with oh, me. He's he's a, not... he's, okay, he's occasionally, but not exclusively, a headmate. Like he yeah, has, that's right. he has his own he's existence the, outside. He's, he's incidentally he, also your headmate, but that's just that, kind of a he coincidence. Owns some time he's pulled, he's in your the head. Ramona flowers. The Ramona flowers like skate uh, through his dreams. Okay. Sort of thing. Oh, okay. he skateboards in when a sick way. He doesn't way. have any other place to crash. You yeah. he, he, oh, he owns Boy, a timeshare right. in right. Nate's head. Yeah, Boy, that's a that's a, that's that's a new twist get, on the character. Yeah. When are we gonna get new fucking lore? It's been like years. What um, the why fuck? don't you Action watch the, is the best shit. Why don't you watch the currently released as the time of this release Weagua that is out right now that oh may God. or may not have him in a starring role. Wait, does it oh, actually though? Uh, literally yes. Okay, <laughs> literally <laughs> yes. I was, like, I was like, why don't you go watch yep. Viagra? He may or may not be there, but actually he's not. <laughs> it's he's a lie. Not, but he's not. <laughs> uh, yeah, go watch Viagra, everybody. Action oh, draft. Oh my god. There he is. Well, that is pretty there he is. Fuck. Fucking He's taking a hiatus good. from his globe trotting in his movie action starring with Tom Cruise. <laughs> and his AIDS have it. And his AIDS, yeah. Well, he, well, he's still, I mean, no, no, no. There's no hiatus from that. He's yeah. in that for life. Uh, <laughs> he's committed to that lifestyle. Uh, but I was just going to say, like, everybody, you know, uh, uh, that, that stupid walrus Digi keeps insisting is a real character <laughs> we all know isn't. Like, that's not a persona. Uh, you know, is, is investigator a persona? No, obviously not. These are real human being non-animal boys. You know, yes. that's their, their own. They're their own guys. Uh, hey, I see. Are, are we mm. done with that question? Yeah, I'm. I'm I see. With that. Kajoro Bitterthorn asks to all the members who haven't made lectures yet. Do you plan to in the future, and what would they be mm. about? Yes. Hey, they're no all idea. out. Everybody, just shout out. They're all out. All yeah. lectures from Radcon. Mine was, mine was out. the last one from Radcon. That's right. Actually, it was the last one to happen too, and the last one to release. That's right. That's right. Neat. Nifty. 
It I'm probably true. Ben Saint uh, fashion. It was the last lecture? one to be done. <laughs> uh, do I'm, I, th- I yeah. feel like I said in a mm-hmm. in a questions of a PCP already that I'm planning on thinking. Yeah, I think, doing you did. I think you did. Well, I guess everybody when's, else. I when's mean, the mage lecture gonna come? I yeah. don't know. Mage, I, I don't know enough about things and stuff to do a lecture. <laughs> mage, uh, just do a lecture on Lithuania. Cats. What? <coughs> oh wait, lecture. I, do the lecture on uh, what are those things where you sell OCs to people? That's adoptables. like their thing. Adoptables. Adoptables. Okay, like w- one yeah. uh, to transfer Munchie. I never read uh, the Warrior mm-hmm. Cat things. To oh, it seems right up your alley. <laughs> <laughs> no. reading books up my alley. Excuse you. Anywho, um, oh, shit. the adoptable thing. I I'm just like I'm a very newbie in that area, so I I don't really have the authority <laughs> to lecture anyone about it. <laughs> that hasn't stopped any of us. Yeah, he, he's yeah. A, he's so, a, I, d- um, I, I don't. Oh, yeah. There's really only one thing I could do a lecture on, which is the game overthinker. Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't yeah. take that. We've talking about Devu, that for a while. Devu, you yeah. have to do a, a lecture on the Bible. It has no. to happen. I know. I, I've been saying. I want that, that I hot Devu take. The, we we, we got to do that. We got to film that in a church. No, no, no. The, 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 the lecture is that you're supposed to lecture on something that you have an exceptional amount of knowledge on, not just like a. Th- that is true. That that's the idea. Like, that's the idea. I'll do a lecture on God in the church. Yeah, the, I'll get the priest. Yeah, the, the tough thing about the game overthinker is that I want to just like analyze, like psychoanalyze movie Bob for like all day, but like I really, I think I'll just focus on the plot of the game overthinker series. And just summarize yeah. that will probably be sufficient. It, would you would you argue that uh, Movie Bob's Game Overthinker is similar to Sonichu in that like there's a story oh, of a man behind this? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, um, that's weird. It actually here. apparently just relaunched the Game Overthinker series. He's like giving oh, it a new. He's he's been trying to like keep that ball rolling for a long time. Yeah, I, I guess I'll I, I guess I'll that. talk about that in the lecture. Hmm. Yeah, I have a little bit of catching up to do, but not that much. Uh, by um, the way, uh, Devu. I, uh, on the last episode for drugs, I was doing the show notes, and I, uh, I searched up, you know, uh, the game Overthinker, uh, episode, like, I don't know, like, seven or whatever it was, because you mentioned I had bad audio, and oh my god. Yeah. The audio was, like, un- like, parallel. Like, it was unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I couldn't have, like, fathomed. Like, it was, like, you it can't was, like, behind it. seven walls. It was behind, like, seven walls, and it was into a tin cannon and also underwater at the same time. You it, it you was, really can't it oversell it. Like, anyone who's getting hyped for how bad the audio is is not getting overhyped. Mm-hmm. There's, well, there's I'm going to look at that. There's been a couple good uh, questions by this one guy, one spar. Uh, yes. The two that I think are the best are, have you ever had any interesting or uh, noteworthy encounters with panhandlers or homeless people? What do you think about how your gov- community such governances Ooh. deal with the um, homeless? San Diego hmm. is notorious for being like... Like, one of the worst homeless cities in America. Like, it's absolutely terrible. Mm. And, like, they just roam mm. the streets constantly, um, and they are just everywhere. Absolutely funny, everywhere. Funny story Jackie told me about the homeless population in Atlanta. Apparently, mm. when the Olympics came to Atlanta a couple years ago, the government of Atlanta just paid lots of homeless people to leave. Ah, <laughs> they were like, damn, here's some money, get girl. out, wow. the Olympics are coming, and Amazing. we don't want you embarrassing us. Oh my god. That's, uh, that's a, re- that's a fix money. right there. That's yeah. a fix. Uh, hey, well, I'll tell you right now. just enough for a taxi ride? <laughs> just, uh, I, hope, I hope it was that, That's a temporary solution. It. I'll tell you right now. Yeah. Thanos would have implemented a permanent solution to this homeless um, situation, if you this, know what I'm when, saying. When Hippo this said... Isn't... When Hippo said how much money, I was just thinking, imagining him thinking, I'll find out where the Olympics are going next, and I'm going to be homeless there. Uh, free money. <laughs> what? <laughs> what, a, what an elaborate scheme. <laughs> I'll be Indeed. the most homeless person on earth. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. This was not exactly a homeless person or a panhandler, but one time I was walking around New York. I was in college, um, and I was walking around uh and a guy you know he was like a black guy in like a in like a, an african robe or something he was all mm-hmm. he was all like traditionally dressed he was one of those like he was one of those guys that's like you know like something about being jewish like black people are like the real yeah. jewish people yeah. you know you yep, know yep, yep. that's not yeah um those guys and he started like i was with my my girlfriend at the time we were walking and, and i was taken completely off guard when he <laughs> he shouted me out in the crowd and he was like, "You, whoa! You, do you know that you are the devil?" Because oh. <laughs> I was white. Because he was saying that white people are the devil. And he was like, "Do you mm. know that you are the devil?" And I was like, "Uh, no, sir, I did not." <laughs> Damn. Um, Damn. And I thought I handled it pretty well. 
It's funny yeah. just how true some facts are. <laughs> you know, it's just funny how like how factual. Oh, information. Well, a- as a future homeless person, I'm sure I'll be yes. able to answer this question in great detail in like a year or two. Tom's gonna all, be on the other side of this question. All my crazy adventures. <laughs> Actually, some guy. Great. When I said no, sir, I did not. Some guy in the crowd started snickering, and I was like, "Yeah, got nice. him, <laughs> got him, dude." Turn it around. Uh, the, the other question from one spar is, "Do need Oh wait, wait, sorry. To- can I? Can I just uh, oh, yeah, uh, sure, uh, respond sure. to that? Uh, th- yeah. This is just a short thing but like this isn't this guy was home it wasn't like panhandling but it was like a homeless guy so when i was in japan and this this experience haunts me to this day i'm walking back from the gym you know it's like japan's like wealthy i'm just i'm in tokyo just everyone's like going about their business being a real dude in in the, in the city and i'm just walking back is, you know it's an american guy walking to the city and i just as i i see a homeless guy sitting on the side of the road and he's got all this like shit around him and stuff he's like you know dirty and stuff and you know it's fine it's just what he was and i look at him and i'm like wait He's playing with something. What's he holding in his hands there? His hands are like down, you know, like by his by his crotch. And I'm like, what, what's he oh, holding there? Wait a minute. No. It, is, is that his penis? <laughs> uh, and and it was. And it was, in fact, and you his jumped penis. in. He just, he had his dick out. Uh, he was playing with it, like in public, before the eyes of gods and men. And he was just doing that. And what stood out to me was I was like, what? What? What's going on here? Uh, so I was, like, shocked. But what truly fascinated me about the situation was how everyone else just kept walking. Like, this was an obvious thing. Anyone who looked could see the shit, but nobody, I mean, like, stopped to say who, anything. Who I'm not want, saying that I'm a hero or anything. I'm just saying, like, en- it was amazing. Who wants to engage with that shit? <laughs> yeah, I just... Mate, I, excuse obviously. me, homeless guy. Put that junk in that trunk I mean, and get out of here. I just was, like... I fucking did a double take and was like, what? But, like, people may- just may- maybe, looked past. Maybe he was, like, doing a performance and he had his hat and you know, on the floor and he was supposed <laughs> to throw a little coin in there. Like, yeah. nice dick. You walk over to him and you're like, hey, sir, put that away. And then he, and then he takes off his penis, revealing that it's actually a hidden camera. And he says, punk! <laughs> and, 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 and you're on national TV. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be great. <laughs> uh, a, a candid camera type of show, but it's exclusively guys jacking off. <laughs> like just always oh. jacking off and they're always actually jacking off it's not actually a prank they're just filming it and then making fun of you for noticing social experiment yeah uh, I'm in, I'm in I favor. see how this can go wrong oh dude Radcon 4 right? <laughs> Munchie I see this in your future uh, as a I'll be 18 artist. I'll be, it'll be all good Finally. Uh, all right, the last question I think we want to do here, another one yeah. by one spar. Do any of you listen to the news, either on radio or TV, and what are your preferred sources of the for world slash local news? Alex no. Jones! Uh, yeah, yeah, he'll give you the real shit. He'll give you the real shit. Uh, I'm, I'm a BBC lad. I grew up watching that. Mm-hmm. I don't look at it that much. Yeah, but look, whenever those big dad black comes home, he puts very on much. the news. I knew I someone was going to say it. I yeah, had to go is. there. It was there so it obvious. I had, I had to. Wait, what? Big black cocks. You know, you yeah, love him. The BBC. The I mean, that uh, unrelated, what, what, but yes. What, what, is, what an unfortunate abbreviation. How, how uh, yes. Coincidentally, a fan of both things. Yeah. <laughs> Well, hold I, on. You can I, say all of them. It's just another yeah. failure of language. BBC came first. All of them can be true, like that. But the ABC. Black oh, black came black. as well. Haha. <laughs> well, funny. the big black cock has been here long before any of us, and will be Dude, here. Dude, that is it's referenced, it's it's referenced, it's referenced all of them. in the Bible. Literally, yeah. all of them could be abbreviations like ABC, anal block clog. Did whoa, you know, whoa, you know, whoa. bead uh, cl- cleavage. Did you know that big black cocks are, <laughs> right. in fact, referenced in the Bible? Is that true? Actually, someone... Okay, I, I wanted to answer this question, but I didn't have a good answer prepared. Someone asked mm. a favorite Bible verse, even if you're not uh. a Christian. And now now, with, now I know it, because I remember there's a verse in the Bible that, like, specifically... Sa- it's something about, like, we don't fuck with that... Like we, like, we don't fuck with that tribe over there. We don't let our women go over to that tribe because, mm. quote, their flesh is as the flesh of asses, meaning they have big donkey dicks. Oh. Well, <laughs> yeah. Are you sure that's what they meant by well, that? Well, I was assured that it was the person okay. assuring me could have been wrong, but I choose okay. to believe that. It, <laughs> sounds, that sounds and sounds good. God said, "Gazam!" <laughs> I uh, look at I, that I, shit. I personally listen to a variety of news sources. Uh, I, I really try to mix things up, and like, there's no one is unbiased, so I just try to mix up and listen to a bunch of different biased people, like mm-hmm. the Young Turks. I'll listen to Kyle Kulinski, K- Kulinski, whatever his name, Secular Talk. Uh, like uh, Review Tech USA, sometimes he's less of a news guy, and then like also like Ben Shapiro. Uh, and whoa, you took a right turn it. there. 
Well, that, that's the thing. There is no online person who's really in the middle. Like, everyone has their agenda. So I just try... Oh, and, yeah. and Stefan Molyneux. I'll listen to some things. Right. I just listen to as much biased shit on either side. Yeah, yeah. And then that, I just form it in better. my mind and mix it. I don't you know, listen that's to all I can do. I just, I just, like, hear whatever, like, comes through the fucking, you know, hot mm. osmosis. By the way, my favorite uh, Bible verse, Ezekiel 23, 20 through 21st. Mm. There she lusted after her lovers, whose genitals were like those of donkeys, and whose emission yeah. was like that of horses. Dude, I think that's exactly the one <laughs> I was talking the about. One. That's yeah. probably the one. Damn. Emission was like that of horses. So they like they know what a horse emission is like. So and you long uh, for the lewdness of your youth, when in Egypt your bosom was caressed and your young breasts fondled. Ah. <laughs> oh, now shit. we're talking. The opposite of me. It looks like I'm going to be a Christian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hey, sick hey. of the porn on the internet. Bible porn only, please. <laughs> There, there's one more question that we, you know, this could be our Christ. final thing. It's just, it's, it's again, it's for one spar. And here, this, this is it. It's, do you think there is enough PCP fan content? Should there be no! more? And what would you like to see or not like to see? The well, first of all, the answer Great is question. no. And based on this question, I'm actually happy to announce we're we're beginning something here today that that we've been discussing amongst ourselves, and we are starting a contest to create an opening theme song for the PCP. Oh, right. Remember, yeah. remember that, guys? Remember that? Oh. So starting right now, hashtag PCP theme. Or I don't know. Yeah, well, I guess we'll stick with that. The PC uh, theme. PC, uh, PCP theme, whatever. Or PC theme. Uh, do the first one. It's, it's clear. Uh, listen, everybody. Make music or whatever the fuck you want, and we will listen to it. And we will... Not necessarily pick one, but they will all be reviewed, and we will do a fucking thing. We, we're looking for some intro song. We love the one that we have now. It's just a little low-key, you know? Which, it works better as an outro. So we're looking for something to start the show off in a hype-ass kind of way. So if you're an audio mixer, you're a musicsman, and you want to submit this, go to the Twitter. Hashtag PCP theme. Submit some fucking audio that we can listen to if you want to be fucking entering what? this thing. That's it. What you should That's do it. is 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 get like uh, songs from all of our favorite bands that we have mentioned at various points, <laughs> and just put them, layer them on top of each other. Doesn't matter whether the BPMs are correct. And just go to, and then and, and, and like go right up to the mic and say. That's a good one. I like that one. Uh, but this this is real. This is going to be a big thing. We've been we've been dancing around trying to figure out how to start the shows off for a while, and this this is our solution. This we we, we throw it back to you guys. You'll be forever immortalized as a fucking the intro song if we pick it. So that's that's it. That's it, everybody. Uh, there is no prize. There is no fucking prize. Well, the other prize than the is legend. that well, you the prize is the... that your thing will become the thing. Yeah, exactly. And that we will say well done and point people in your direction. And so you'll be, only I mean, you'll, you'll be credited it. in the video description. It's literally exposure. Of course, yeah, that, that, that's correct. So only do it if you're happy to not be paid. That's that's the thing. Uh, there you go, everybody. Started right now. Hashtag PCP theme. Get going. There you go. <laughs> it, feel, it, it feels wrong for me to say, yeah, guys, make more PCP like fan art. It, it, it feels mm -hmm. wrong to like be like, no, there's not enough fan content. But all is all I know is that like I I, I would enjoy if there were more you know a little bit of munchies well, well, running munchie. around. I would like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, Munchie, you you and me both know that by asking for fan art, it will happen. That's true. Arm Retrieval has so much more fan art than the PCP. But that's because Still. Arm Retrieval is good, and it <laughs> yeah, is inspiring. Yeah. Oh, you're right. You know what though. it is? Is that uh, Arm Retrieval is like way more specific and like has a visual style that can be like utilized, which is like Homestuck style and stuff. Mm. Uh, so that that goes a long way. That goes a long way, I'd say. My but whatever. favorite All, PCP you know what, fan you know what I gotta content. say? There's, what? there's. Mm. Th how has it been at this point? Two weeks since the furry cast, and we only had one person draw us all his furries. No, there was, uh, there was more than one. There well, were two. You some Ben got a ones. few extra arts, but like yeah, us like Ben all, got one. Yeah, us all as two. PCPL oh yeah, that's one. right. I got, I got a bonus. I got a that was good. Bonus stuff. Pretty, pretty, <laughs> pretty disappointed with all of you. Not gonna lie. <laughs> the, the best PCP fan stuff was not even by a fan, it was by fucking Ben Saint here, and it was that comic that was just, uh, uh, the PCP University, and it was just, oh, like, a yeah. little comic based upon a discussion that was in the, uh, episode. That was amazing. Yeah, that it was, was the, the PCP University shit. one. Um, I think Yo. I did two of those, right? I did a second one. I don't think so. Oh, no, yeah, I, 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 did, yeah, I did the one where of... Up, up into the table. The Yeah, yeah, show. of, like, Nate, it's like, it's just me, it's nobody else, I'm here, oh, and then yeah, Munchie Burst. Right. Yeah, so I've done two of those. Um, uh, and I uh, should do more. 
of course, a shout out to the uh, PCP animated guys who did those. Yeah, uh, Zen sure. Huxtable and the other person who I forget at the moment. Uh, shout out to Shout out one two three. Wait, no, who was that? animated, which was unparalleled okay. and the best thing that's ever happened to me. That was the best part. Yep. Best piece of fan uh, content that has ever happened to me ever was the shout out one two three. Armor was animated. It was but that was armatrival and therefore banned and perfect. illicit. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> Also, thank you to everybody who draws punk. That's the cool. I like it when you do it. <laughs> Asha in the AM was the. That's other. the one. That's the, the one. Thanks, one. Asha. All right, guys. Uh, I think we're. I think we're done here. I think we've, right. we've done all we need to do here. Okay, uh, boys. So listen up. Listen up. Patreon.com uh, slash the procrastinators. Uh, give us one dollar. Get in the chat. Uh, we're in there, and you can submit questions that we read more of. Uh, Five dollars and get all the bonus episodes. Our most recent bonus episode was. Wild card. It was wild card. Seto Kaiba is there, and he's good. Uh, you're going to want to get in on that. Uh, <laughs> that's four, that's <laughs> yeah, our 14 Seto. episodes are available now with $5 fucking pledge. So you're getting your money's worth at this point. Uh, uh, and, and follow us at TV Crossnares for all that shit. Hashtag AskBCP for the, the questions that we answer. And uh, you got links to some oh. stuff you can buy in the description. I have, I have, a, I have an, can I announce something for myself? Sure. That is, this okay. week I shipped all the books. I shipped all my Kickstarter books. They're That's out. right. Congratulations. Yes. They're real now. Woo! They're real. Out. People yeah. are all, like the tweets. The tweets are already pouring in. People are taking mm-hmm. pictures of themselves. They're stylish books and wearing their pins wait. and shit. It's fucking sick. I can't wait. I gave oh, I gave them they got real nice <laughs> envelopes. They got did you, yeah, did you forget? That. Did you remember to use the media mail then? I did not because it said that comic books don't meet the criteria. Because what? they're fucking cowards. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Like, you should have books, just said they were regular books. I know, but I was scared of the police. <laughs> <laughs> Typical I, cop killers. I am yeah, putting out a yeah. warrant for the arrest of anyone who does not do the following. When you get your pristine Vapors book, go, flip to a Vapor, a Vaporette 4, a.k.a. an untitled ma- a Magda Vaporette by Munchie Smiley Face. Hmm. Turn to the last page and take a selfie with that page. Uh, in in the background, so so take a selfie with yes. that page and send it to me right fucking now. That's yes. that's your new that's your new uh, oh. homework. What's oh, your Twitter at? You. What's your Twitter at? Uh, uh, Munchy, like Munchy W Tiny Hats. There you go. Uh, there you go, everybody. There, there, now you've got all the tools before you now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, that's it, everybody. We're we're yeah. done. Thank you for listening. This was, was a good, I, good time as yeah. always. Give us money on Patreon. Do not forget that important step, <laughs> and we'll see you next time. See Bye. you in hell. Bye. Bye. Bye.